Rules of the game brought to you by Napa. Napa know how. Eight players per side on the field. Players may be offense or defense. The clock runs nonstop until the final minute of each half. No punting. No stunning or twisting. One receiver may move in forward motion before the snap. Rebounds off the net are allowed. Players can be tackled into the wall. And that's the rules of the game brought to you by Napa. Napa know how. Go! Number 77 at times. Oh boy! And an offensive lineman from Troy, number 70, Mark Pittman! Assistant coaches, Patty Kalai, Simon and Omar Smith, the head coach of the Oregon Minnesota Wimbledon's, Kevin Guy! A wonderful rendition of the National Anthem, and we are getting close to getting this one underway. Coin toss coming shortly, and while we have a moment here, let's also tell you who's in charge of the action on the field. Shane Anderson, your referee tonight. Roger Stewart, the umpire. Headlinesman Matt Dornan, line judge Steve Kovac, and back judge Steve Curry. Those are the guys calling the action, throwing the flags. Hopefully a few of them against the Rattlers. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully a few of them, and... Uh, you know, if you want to say anything about the Rattlers, um, and I think last game was a little bit better. They didn't have as many penalties called against them. And, uh, th you know, that's a good thing. So hopefully they've uh, corrected that. They had a few of the, I want to call them the middle games of the season, that they actually, uh, you know, were called for uh, quite a few penalties. Luckily still winning. But, uh, you know, what you want to do is, is start to really tighten up, really get your game clean as you get closer and closer now. To the playoffs and that's and that's one of those things that we saw last week iowa got five first downs off of penalties 
and it gave the Barnstormers more chances and made a game that was a 20-point game on the scoreboard, but it realistically, it could have been a 28, a 35-point game last week over Iowa, if not for those penalties. Yeah, you really have to, you really have to watch that. Uh, like I said, even though last week, uh, as you mentioned, what was it, five first downs? Yep. Uh, you know, in some of the other games, it's been a little bit worse than that. So uh, that's what I said. They tightened it up a little bit, and uh, now let's just, uh, let's, tonight, let's play a, a really, a complete game. Let's leave no doubt. And you know what? This Sabercat team for years is, you know, even though they're not playing as well this year, it's always been a uh, an arch enemy, right? Yeah, as a matter of fact, although San Jose leads the all-time series 19-15, to the Rattlers have only won twice in the last 11 meetings against San Jose, but one of them was earlier this season, and as we saw in that game earlier out there at the HP Pavilion, that was up and back until the final minute, and it was the defense. Not not the defense, it was Kevin McCullough. Right. A net recovery for a touchdown and a short pick six in the final 20 seconds to seal the deal. Yep, and I was going to say, wasn't that Kevin McCullough big in that game? And, uh, you know, let's talk about Kevin McCullough has been big all year. You know, we talk about there's a, been a, a lot of players that have been big this year. Uh, yeah, Odie with it, bringing in his Odie Express. Virgil Gray. I mean, how much can you say about this guy? It seems like every game now he's running one back for a touchdown. And also defensively, he's getting his hands up there quite a bit. Marquise Floyd's doing that. Vince Hill starting to swat at him a little bit more. And it's becoming very difficult for opposing quarterbacks to complete passes against this Rattler team. And uh, we shall see what's going to happen with that. And uh, coming up to the midfield here for the uh, for the coin toss. So hopefully we get our cameras on this coin toss so you guys can see it at home. And we also have been told that we're going to be, oh, there we go. There's your coin toss coming up here. We'll see who wins this toss. And they defer about 95% of the time in this league, trying to get that advantage starting the second half. All right. So you actually want to, uh, you actually want to win it, but then you want to give the ball away. Yeah. the coin. It is head. Arizona has won the toss. There you go. Arizona has won the toss, chose to defer. Which way do you guys want to kick? Nope. You want to the ball? Yeah. San Jose will receive. So there you go. Arizona won the toss, but will defer, so I'll try and build some momentum going into the second half. And as I say, Rattler fans, are you ready? Hammer, are you ready? You know I'm ready. And I think all the folks in this arena, in the snake pit, are ready. And this is still you know, a pretty good crowd. A little bit late trickling in tonight, but, you know, obviously there's a pretty sizable crowd next door <laughs> at Chase Field as well. I've uh, drawn upward of 32,000 tonight for the Diamondbacks and the White Sox next door. And yeah, yeah, they got a, a big crowd, a good, good crowd over there. Yep. A little bit of interleague play going on, and well, you know, something else we'll talk about uh, over the course of the night tonight too. The Arena Football League announcing its Hall of Fame finalists. A couple of names that the Rattler fans would be familiar with. A couple of names the San Jose fans would be familiar with too. You're, you're going to wait and tell us, right? Yeah, we'll sprinkle those in as we go along over the course of the night. And you know what? We actually we got a moment here because with this being a, a game on, uh, you know, another outlet, if you will, um, we got the moment here. So let's just talk about the finalists here. One of them is, is going to be San Jose head coach and owner, Darren Arbett. Been around the league quite a number of years, coach of the year, three championships. So also from the you know, Kurt Warner's on the list. Gene Nudo, former GM of the Rattlers. Honky Cooper, Iron Man of the, award, Iron Man of the Year award winner twice. And, uh, and Gene Nudo, we had the opportunity and to uh, interview him just a few weeks back. Yeah. So we'll see how that plays out. Ten nominees, five make the AFL Hall of Fame. This could be the best class ever. 
And those will be announced right before Arena Bowl 24, which comes up in the 12th of August. So it's coming quick. I like the looks of that uh, Hall of Fame ring there, too. And that's uh, yeah, pretty nice. Indeed it is. All right, we are ready to go. Fabrizio Scaccia ready to tee this one up. Back deep to receive it. It's going to be George. It's going to be. I'm sure that is. Chris Vetter. Off the net cleanly. Jason nice Gethers tackle. gets there. What a tackle with the three. Nice tackle by Gethers. There you go. So Vetter doesn't get far, and the Rattlers are going to have San Jose pinned deep in their own territory to open this game. First and 10 at the San Jose three. And under center, Mark Greeb, the quarterback for the Sabercats. 294 completions, 3,500 yards this year, 62 scores and 16 picks. What a great play for Gathers to start this game. Nice tackle. Greeb drops back into the end zone. Looking's got some time throws near side. That's going to be intended for Rowe, but incomplete. And it's second down. And, and already very first play for the defense. Very first play, they put uh, pressure on the quarterback. Well, you put pressure on the quarterback in this part of the field, you might wind up putting points on the board. We've seen that before out of this Rattlers team, haven't we? Yeah, they had a couple of safeties earlier this season. Been a while since we've seen one, but hey, what a great way to start if they can get one here. Row the motion man, switches back. Grebe dropping back, has time. Gets away to roll on the near side. He's got a first down and then some out to the 16. It's going to be a gain of 13, and the Sabercats have a first down. Make him work for it. Just make him work for it. Ball spotted actually the 17, so it's going to be still a 13 yard gain. Marco Thomas on the far side, row on the top of the screen. Chad Cook, the other man, going to have flags, flags down. Greeb completes it over the middle. He's got I Ben actually, Nelson. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I think uh, I think Sabres may have jumped. Sabre cats. It's going to be an eight-yard gain to midfield if it stands. I don't know. It looks like they're applauding. They could it, but I'm not sure. I thought I thought it was. I thought it was against the Sabre. Oh, I didn't see that. And we're saying offsides on 56 on the uh, Rattlers. The Rattlers got a little bit of an early jump there. And 56, is that what they call? That is what they call, but anyway, first and five of the 22 coming up here for San Jose. Greeb drops back, short pass to the left over the, to over the right, checked that to Thomas. He gets dragged down across midfield, and a flag is down at midfield. Let's see what this call is. I'm sorry, I'm still looking at the flip chart here, and uh, I'm looking. There is a 56 on the field, it looks like, on that uh, left side of the line. Well, we've got an offensive holding penalty against San Jose, so that uh, gain of three is wiped out, and it's going to be first down for the third consecutive play, and it's going to be first and 15 at the San Jose 12. And... Sorry, I was still trying to figure out who... Uh, who 56 is? Because I don't see him on. A, I don't see him on the charger. Myself neither. I'm gonna see if we can find someone down here that might be able to tell us who is this guy. First and 15 for the Saber Cats. Pitch left to Chad Cook. Cook to the 15 to the 20. Gets around the tackle of McCullough and gets out to the 22. And gee, another flag. Fourth straight. Third straight play, a penalty flag has been thrown. Cook has a gain of seven, dot, 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 if it stands, dot, dot, dot. And away for Shane Anderson to make the call. I don't think they have it sorted out. I'm not quite sure. I mean, who is it on? I don't know. It's down to the 25 where I saw Virgil Gray being go. blocked by a lineman. A personal foul on 73 on the offense. That's going to be Mark Lewis, the offensive lineman, who had basically blocked Virgil Gray down onto his back. So after all is said and done, this is going to be second and 12 at the Sabercat 13. 
following that penalty and the run by Cook. Oh, second and 12. Row the motion man at the top of the screen. Reed drops back, looks left, quick hitch over to Thomas, got on the near boards, and he gets stood up there at the 18-yard line by Vince Hill. That's a gain of five, and it's going to bring up third and long. And that's the first play we've had in a while that didn't have a penalty flag attached to it. So it's going to be third and seven coming up here from the 18 for San Jose. All right, we're, we're trying to get that clarified with who number 56 is, so we should find that out uh, Pretty soon here on the uh, defensive side of the ball. Third and six at the 20. Greeb dropping back, going over the top. He's got Thomas. That is that's all, incomplete. That's, that's, that's interference. It's going to be interference on Vince Hill. He did not look back for the ball. We just found out who number 56 is on the uh, Rattlers, and that is Ron Jones. Ron Jones. Ron Jones. He's been injured all season long, and this is his uh, first game. All right, well. Yeah, now on that play that you just saw, uh, the only reason that the uh, Rattler defensive back was uh, was flagged on that one is he didn't turn around. If he would have turned around, no penalty. Right you are. Reed drops back first and 10. He's under pressure by Pittman and sacked at the 20. It's a 10-yard loss. He was down by contact. And, and he, he's a little bit slow to get up here, too. So Antaj Hawthorne with the big sack. A 10-yard loss. That's huge. That, that's very big. Indeed it is. It goes from the Arizona 20 to the San Jose 20. Oh, he got twisted pretty good there uh, going down. Yeah, he did a little bit of a... Uh, he looked like a pretzel, actually. Funny way to bend there, but... So second and 20 from the San Jose 20. Row in motion. Reeb drops back. Has some time. Fires for Rowe. Tipped and almost intercepted by Marquise Floyd. And... Uh, and Tosh Arthur yeah. introduced himself to Mark Reeb again. Yeah, Mark Reeb is going to... Uh, he's not only going to get look, look, look like a pretzel, he's going to look like a pancake if this keeps up. So it's going to be third and super long, third and 20 from the San Jose 20. Maybe a little pancake with hash brown potatoes. I'll tell you. Hey, whatever works. So third and 20 at the Sabercat 20. Ten minutes to go in the first quarter. Nelson, the motion man, and we've got another flag. Play clock didn't run out, but it's going to be a and now like a timeout called by San Jose. Yeah, they couldn't. Uh, they they really didn't know the plays, and that, that's what you get when you have uh, you know all these new players. All right, well they'll talk it over. We'll take a timeout as well. Scoreless in the first quarter here in the Snake Pit. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty TV. Our ball jackpot is growing. So dream accordingly. Get your tickets today. The Arizona Lottery. You can't win if you don't play. Man, let's get this place shaking from the the U.S. Airways Center. 10.03 to go in the first quarter. Arizona 0, San Jose 0. Sabercats on their first possession of the game. Heads up, T-shirts coming this way. And the Sabercats took their first timeout facing third and 20 on their own 20. Was that a was that a T-shirt wasn't past my head? That was a T-shirt that nearly bopped you the noodle. I mean, I, I, I uh, you know, I felt the, uh, I felt the breeze on my hair. Wait a second. I don't have any here. Well, now the question is, what do you call on third and 20? San Jose so far this year on third downs are about a 50-50 proposition, 37 for 75 this year. So it's kind of dicey. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Well, since you got a third down and 20, I guess you got to uh, throw a bomb. 
Well, you better throw something that at least maybe gets you in the field goal range and lets their kicker, Juan Gamboa, maybe take a chance at a three. But he had just never known. So, crowd's really starting to get in this one really early here. The crowd knows what's at stake tonight. Indeed they do. Nelson the motion man. Creed drops back, has some time, lofts up a duck that is picked Intercepted. off. Vince Hill, he's got it picked off for the Arizona 11. And there's the first defensive stop of the night. And that was all caused by pressure on the quarterback. And that's what they've done ever since this game started. Very first play, pressure on the quarterback. Every play, pressure on the quarterback. So Vince Hill comes up with the pick. The Rattlers come up with the ball. And they've got pretty good field position at their own 16 to open up. And that's where Nick Davila is going to take this offense under, uh, under his tutelage and go with it. Gellers on the bottom of the screen. Fox on the top. Windsor the man in motion. Davila drops back. Has time. Goes for Windsor. He overthrew him. Incomplete. Second and ten. Now they're opening up right away. Why not try and go deep on the first play of the game? Not a bad idea for the Rattlers offensively. Well, second and ten coming up here. How about some more Odie tonight? I want a lot of, I want some more of Odie. Hey, if Rattlers get that down inside the five, you're probably going to get a big help in, of the Odie Express. Oh, second and ten here on the 16. Read the motion, man. Dava drops back. Quick over to Windsor. Does he get it? No. He did not get it. It's incomplete, but we have a flag down at the 20, and that could be a possible pass interference call against Mosley for the Sabercats. Yeah, I believe it was holding on the uh, Sabercats. They actually held up the uh, uh, Arizona. On the offense. That's a surprise. Oh, I'm I'm shocked at that one. And uh, you know, so is uh, so is Windsor. He's looking around with his uh, with his hands uh, out in the air, like, what did I do? Check that. They oh. changed it around. It's actually on the defense. Defensive number one, not offensive number one. So that's going to be on San Jose, as correctly called now. We're, okay, yeah, because that's what I. That's what I thought I saw on the field there was holding on uh, yeah, on the saber cap. Kerry Reed wound up getting dragged down. So it's going to be now first and 10 at the San Jose 24. And I've gotten that straightened out. And the Rattlers start working down the field. Again, first down by penalty. This right. time it goes in favor of the Rattlers. So, yep. Read the motion, man. Wins with the top, Gellers at the bottom. Davlo drops back. Quick out to Odie, Odie Armstrong. Armstrong. Oh, Odie. my God, he's just carried that guy five yards. A great catch by Odie Armstrong, and I tell you, Chris Vetter got a free ride on the Odie Express. That's right, Odie Express. Woo, 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 woo. Well, moving down the field, second look at it here. Odie reels that in, and woo, Chris Vetter tried. He tried, woo, and he wound woo. up getting a five-yard ride. That was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. It's, all you know, it's like he told us after the game last week. He played some halfback in college at Northwest Oklahoma State, and he showed the versatility there. Back of the end zone, touchdown, Rattlers! Dive a read. 6 nothing Arizona. You know, that ball was right there. As soon as Reed turned around, it was right there. That's exactly what you need to do. Great Following pass. a touchdown, and it's not thunderstruck. You are hearing fight songs from the Big Ten tonight. I don't know. It doesn't do it for me. Okay. Scotch is on for the extra point. Regardless of what university that was, it's still 6 nothing. Spot's good. Kick's good. Yep. 7 nothing Arizona. Halfway through the first quarter. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty TV. Thank you very much, Jeff. 
field, give a giant target. We're going to hit. If you can hit that target right here, we're going to hook you up with an Arizona Rattlers prize pack. Head that out. All right, fire when ready. Back to the U.S. Airways Center. Halfway through the first quarter, Arizona leads at seven to nothing. Nick Davila, carry Reed, twelve yards, touchdown. What a you know what what a perfect pass by uh, by Davila because uh, all Reed had to do was turn around and it was stuck in the middle of his chest. That's what we call throwing it where only a receiver can catch it. It was on that outside shoulder towards the boards, and if for some reason Reed didn't get it, the only place it was going was in the Rattlers bench. Well, this defense, this defense on that first drive over there by, uh, you know, the Sabercats was showing their will again like they normally do. They've really pushed around the offensive line so far in the first series tonight, and that's where San Jose's really been beaten up all season. So, again, you plug those new parts into the line, it may not work out too well. Scott should have kicked it off, and Chris Vetter, still recovering from his right on the OD Express, is going to run this one back. Scotcha hammers it deep. That is going to be off the net. Vetter drops it in the end zone, tries to run it back out. Ooh. Gets around McCullough. He got Vetter out. at the 5 at the 10, 15, 20 across midfield. Scotcha, the only one back. Gets around Scotcha. There's a flag down, though. He gets in the end zone. Vetter's got a touchdown, but we have a flag at the 4-yard line of Arizona. Let's see what that now, is for. Now the only thing that I could think of on the That, on, that could be there. offside on San Jose because um, they line up at the 5. That could be an offside also on Arizona. And that's what it's going to be. It is an it is an offside in Arizona. Yep. So. Well, you know, on 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 a, on a muff back there, uh, you know, they uh, really, uh, you know, you really wanted to see them uh, <laughs> keep them back in there, but unfortunately, this guy uh, he made a uh, great run. Well, Vetter gets it all the way back, about a 56-yard kick return. Gamboa on for the extra point. He hits it. So just as quickly as the Rattlers go up by seven, the Sabercats tie it. 6.54 to go in the first quarter. Seven all. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty. Welcome back to the U.S. Airways Center. Seven all with seven minutes to go in the first quarter. That Rattlers worked their way down the field, but Chris Vetter with a kickoff return for a touchdown has got this game tied. Speaking of kickoff returns for a touchdown, Virgil Gray is back to return this one for Arizona. And uh, he could he could take it back himself, as we all know. Did one? He took one last week against Iowa. Can he do it again? Gamboa kicks it. It's going to be off the left net. Gray fields it cleanly. Gets across the five, Ooh, runs into his own guy. man. And I believe that was Windsor he ran into at the seven. I believe, and Windsor's still down. Yeah, Windsor's hurt. I don't know. And unfortunately, he got a full blast of Virgil Gray right in the back. Oh, yeah, Virgil was just uh, just getting at full speed there. And unfortunately, Windsor stepped in the wrong place at the wrong time. Then he just, just the way the blocking broke down. And Rod Windsor is still down. 
Well, why don't we take a uh, take a break? Because it looks like Windsor could be down for a little bit of time now. All right, let's take a short time out here. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on uh, Nifty. Well, we said a short break and we weren't kidding. Windsor must have yeah. just got a little bit of the wind knocked out of him, but he popped back up, jogged off under his own power. That looks like exactly what it may have happened there, is that he got the wind knocked out of him. I mean, my God, that was a heck of a collision. If that was a defensive guy, you'd say, what a nice tackle, right? Yeah. Got Not your right. own man. Nope. Read the motion, man. Dabla drops back. Looking to his right. He was going for Gethers. Got way too much air underneath it and overthrew him by about 10 yards. Incomplete. Yeah, I'm not sure. Was it Gethers he was looking for or Reed? Gethers was right in the middle of the field, but uh, Dabla just flat out overshot him. Yep. So that's, second and 10 at the Arizona 7. That's one thing you don't see out of Dabla too much is uh, overthrown or bad passes, but that one was. Well, all right. Gellers the motion man. Reed and Fox both out there on the top of the screen. Tavla drops back. Scott time goes for Gethers off his hand and into the first row there by the 20-yard line. Fan gets a free souvenir, and the Rattlers get to face third and ten. Yep, and again, that was another high throw by uh, by Davila. Windsor's trotting back out of the field for this third down play, so he probably did uh, just get the wind knocked out of him for a couple seconds there. So the question is, can the Rattlers convert on their first third down attempt of the night? Windsor the motion man. Davila drops back, has some time, fires it right side for Windsor. Over the boards, does he make the catch? No, incomplete. Better there on the coverage, and the Rattlers have fourth down. So what do you think they're going to do here on uh, fourth and ten? I would say that they're, well, I don't see Scotch out there, so they're going to try and go for it. And at this, you know, at this stage of the game, maybe you do. You, you know, why not try it? So fourth and ten from the Arizona seven. Windsor to the top, Gethers to the bottom. Fox the motion man. Dalla drops back, needs to have this one. Fires over the middle. Got his man at the 21. That's Fox. It's a 14-yard gain and a first down. Isn't that something? You know, uh, Davila wasn't very good on his first couple of passes. Fourth and 10, and he throws a perfect strike. That guy is cool under pressure. So maybe we should just only give him fourth downs. Tell him, tell him every place a fourth down. Eh, let's not go that far. Okay. So... Rattlers in business near midfield. First and 10 on their own 22. Seven all game, just under four minutes left in the first quarter. And Jason Gethers the motion man now. Davila, quick hit to Windsor on the far on the near side. Windsor runs over a man, gets down to the 18. That's I'll tell you what, Gethers is looking for a flag there because he immediately got 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 hit, and that should have been a that should have been a flag. It should have been, but it's also a first down for Arizona. So, you know, at this point, though, just keep the flat, just keep the uh, flag in the pocket. Let's just keep on going here. Down to the 17 of the San Jose Sabercats. Rattlers driving here, looking pretty good. Every pass that's been complete so far tonight, at least 10 yards. Fox, the, Fox the motion man, and we've got movement up front. A botch snap. Davila falls on it, but multiple flags. The question is who moved. I don't know. I, I actually think the defense may have come off, but let's see what they're going to say. Defense. All right. How'd I, how'd I see that? I yeah. must have eagle eyes. Or a 50-50 chance of calling it. So, Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey. Got to keep it real. First and five on the San Jose 12 after that penalty. The first offside of the night. Remember... If the Sabercats get two more of those, Arizona starts getting first downs with each offside. Start getting in the uh, bonus, if you will. Fox on the bottom, wins are on the top. Jason Gethers, the motion man. Davila drops back, looking for Gethers in the back of the end zone. Got it! Touchdown, Arizona! That's what a, a flag is down. There is a flag down. 
A second flag is now down, and Gathers may have been running his mouth a little bit after the catch, but let's see if it even counts. Let's take it down to the field and listen in to the ref. A second look there, great catch by Gathers. I really hope this stands, it's a great catch. That penalty against Gathers for the uh, unsportsmanlike conduct enforced on the next play that San Jose has. My ears just rattled on that one. But the touchdown counts. It's 13 to 7. Scotchy on for the extra point. Two and a half to go in the first quarter. Scotch is kicked. Dead center. Rattlers have a one touchdown lead, and we'll take a break. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty TV. Airways Center, 14 to 7. The Rattlers lead it. Two and a half to go in the first quarter. And we're getting some word here out of Jacksonville. They have knocked off the Milwaukee Mustangs. So the Mustangs played them tight, but didn't get the job done. Jacksonville 12 and 1. And still holding that home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Yep. They uh, you know they they have to keep this up, right? And same token now. That still keeps pressure on the Rattlers if they want to, you know, try to get home field advantage throughout. It gives them something to play for. You know, still trying to chase down Jacksonville for that number one seed because if these two teams end up tied, Arizona gets it because they beat the Sharks in week one. Who knew? Who knows that a game in March could mean everything in August? Yeah, what could happen? exactly. So when we get back to action here, Scotch uh, is going to tee it up. Chris Vetter's back to return. He's already returned one for a touchdown for San Jose's only points of the game. And if I remember correct, that Orlando game, or that Jacksonville game, in the beginning was a very good game. Indeed it was, but it came down to a couple of big plays late, including a, guess what, Virgil Gray kick return for a touchdown. Scotch off the net. That is off the overhang. And that's going to be a touchback according to the ground rules. So it's going to be first and ten for the Sabercats at their own five-yard line. So it doesn't matter whether it goes through the slack net between the uprights or it uh, hits off that overhang by bouncing off one of the rebound nets. As soon as it hits it, dead ball. Wasn't there a personal, the foul? Wasn't there a personal foul? You know, you're right, there was, and they did not enforce that. Very good call. So, so from, now that now that the play is played, they can't go back and say, wait a second, we made a mistake, correct? No, they can't. There's no way to go backwards now after Grieve hit Rowe for about a six-yard gain <laughs> to the uh, top of the screen. So so they are going to have second down and two coming up here at the 13. It's actually going to be an eight-yard gain. Motion man is going to be Nelson. 
Grebe drops back, has some time, goes underneath to Chad Cook. Cook out to the 20, out to midfield, gets pinched up against the wall there by Vince Hill. It's another San Jose first down, and it's going to be a gain of 12. <laughs> yeah, what, what, a, what a break there where they didn't uh, enforce, and that was a 15-yard penalty. If, if I, correct me if I'm wrong on that one. You're wrong, it's 10. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. You left yourself open for that one. Okay, well, they... Okay, well, they missed a 10-yard penalty then. And I'm surprised that the ref, the, the, the coaches weren't screaming on that one. Well, Greaves, and Mo, Greaves going deep for Nelson. Great turn around. And look, this time did Nelson make the it. catch? Yes, oh, my did. goodness, he did. Touchdown, what? San Jose. And let's watch that. Oh, we, what, the... wait, wait, we got a flag down. Flag down at the San Jose 19. Hold the phone. Antaj Hawthorne saying the Sabercats are going backwards. Yes, they are. It's going to be a hold on the offense, and that one really hurts because that takes points off the board. That nullifies a great catch. Yeah, Nelson made a great effort in the corner to uh, beat Virgil Gray to the ball, and I tell you, that would have been a real highlight, real catch. A couple of them so far tonight had that stuck, but now the Sabercats are in first and 20. They have not had very good success in anything more than about 10 yards tonight for down and distance. Nelson in motion, Fumble. ball is loose, fumble, it's fallen on by Cook, and San Jose recovers. It's gonna be a loss of about a yard or two. So that may have been a bad snap there. See if we can get a second look at it, and I don't think we will. As time ticks down here in the first quarter, second and 21 coming up for San Jose on their own 12 yard line. Grieve gets it away before the end of the, end of the quarter. Grieve going over the right side for real. Nice defense there by Marquise Floyd to swat it away. And that's how the first quarter ends. A little pushing and shoving there over Mark Grieve as he got knocked down again by Antosh Hawthorne. And with no flags thrown, that's how the first quarter ends. Arizona leads at 14 to seven. And San Jose is gonna face third and 21 when we come back to start the second quarter. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty. At the end of the first quarter of play, Raptors 14, Sabercats 7. How about it for your Arizona Raptors? <laughs> Back again here at the U.S. Airways Center. One quarter in the books. Arizona leads at 14 to 7. And starting the second quarter, San Jose is going to face third and 21 on its own 12. Last time they faced third and 20. Their last third down they faced. Wound up being intercepted. Can the Rattlers do it again? I don't know. Nope. Can they? Nelson's the motion man. Row at the bottom. At the top is going to be Thomas. Grebe drops back. Has some time oh, to knock down. A beautiful defensive play by Ron Jones. 
who actually stopped his rush and jumped up. He got a hand on that and deflected it away. Intended for Thomas. And now it's going to be fourth and extremely long for the Sabercats. Fourth and 21 on their own 12. And we really don't know anything about Ron Jones. At least I don't. And uh, don't have his height, his weight. But he does look pretty tall. And he's pretty agile to get out there and make that play. So yeah. on fourth and 21, San Jose is going to go for it. Nelson the motion man. Greed drops back. Has some time. He, get, he gets hit, hit by Glasper. Hit. Ooh. And now we got a flag thrown. And they're going to call it as uh, roughing the quarterback. Roughing the quarterback, yep. Uh, we'll see what the call is here, but I'm not sure it's rough in the quarterback. Well, there it is, The uh, what we were talking about in the pregame show, those penalties that allow the first downs. That one just lets San Jose squirm out of fourth right. and 21. And, and, and uh, it, look, at, look at the field position in which the Rattlers would have had there. Yeah. So San Jose benefits by a penalty, and they will keep going here. Nelson the motion man. Creep drops back, looks short left to Cook. He's got him. He gets hit at midfield by Vince Hill and gets stood up against the wall. It's a gain of three, and it's going to bring up second and seven for the Sabercats. Well, let's make it hard on him again. You know what? Let's put Greeb right back down on the ground. This time with the ball in his hand. Well, the Rattlers have been getting really good pressure so far tonight against Greeb. That offensive line for San Jose has been getting pushed around quite a bit in the early going. James Rowe, the motion man, going to the top of the screen. Greeb drops back, flag There's down. There's a flag down. That's over to Thomas. He's got it at the 18, 19 yard line of Arizona. I think I think that's going to be on the uh, Sabercats. Well, there's two flags down, and Pittman's pointing backwards. I think it's I think it's offside. Well, it's offside. It's on us. No, but I mean on. Oh, yeah. I guess it was offside on us. So it's now going to make it third and two at the Arizona 20, and yet again the penalties hurting the Rattlers. So far, four penalties for 35 yards. San Jose actually six penalties for 50 yards in the early going. So it looks like the United Nations in yellow out there on the field with all the flags. Too many flags. Too many flags. Really makes the game not flow very well. Nelson, the motion man. Greed pitch to Cook. Cook cutting right, tries to get the corner at the 20. He gets close to the first down marker where he gets snowed under by a couple of Rattlers. Looks like Pittman and Hill were in on it, as was Glasper. And he did get the first down. Yeah, and it looked like uh, looked like Jones got held up a little bit there on that play by uh, number nine of the uh, of the uh, SaberCats, James Rowe. Yep, but it wasn't called. Thomas on the bottom, Nelson in the middle, Rowe, the motion man. First and ten from the Arizona 16. Creep drops back, looking left. He's got uh, Nelson on the far side, but we've got a flag down also at the 16. And that's going to be on the Rattlers, I believe. But it's also maybe that area where you might have an offensive hold. Nope, we got kicked on the other side of 15. That's probably going to be a defensive offside, the second for the Rattlers. Nope, we'll see what Shane Anderson's call is. And it's again. All right, holding on the Rattlers. So it's going to give them the of the Sabercats another first down, first and goal at the eight. And this is where San Jose really excels in the red zone. Number one in the league in the red zone, scoring touchdowns better than seven out of every eight trips down. So first and goal at the eight. This is where Chad Cook also excels. He has 25 rushing touchdowns this year for the Sabercats. Greeb drops back. He's looking to pass, going for the corner of the end zone. Gray up there to, to make a play. I, I don't think he's in bounds. And that is incomplete, out of bounds. Virgil Gray got his hand on that ball. 
and was able to make sure the San Jose wide receiver, James Rowe, did not come down in bounds with that one. A great defensive play to four, second and goal. Second look at that one. Rowe goes up. Gray gets his hand in it, and Rowe ran out of AstroTurf. Yeah, and that's nothing but a hard cement floor back there. Yeah, and all the padding in the world doesn't make that tickle. Second and goal at the Arizona 8. Sabercats threatening. 14-7 to they trail. 11 and a half to go in the second quarter. Give inside to Cook. Cook does not find a lot of running room. He maybe gets uh, back to the original line of scrimmage, maybe a yard. But then again, nobody finds running room against the Rattlers. Yeah, that was, uh, I don't think he got anywhere. I think you're right about that. Well, that's still on the eight. So third and goal from the eight. Again, another third down coming up here in the Rattler defense, trying to find a stop like they did last week in the red zone against Iowa where they gummed, where they uh, clogged up the Barnstormers twice in the red zone. Greeb drops back, looking to pass. He's got some time, tries to go over to the Throws left it. for James Rowe. He's got it, and that's going to be a touchdown. Yeah, that, I don't know. That didn't look like a very good play there by uh, by Floyd because uh, Rowe was bottled up, and then all of a sudden it was just thrown out there, and Floyd was not going with the with Rowe. Well, just one of those kind of stop and go sort of plays, and yep. One, one stopped and one didn't go. So Gamboa's on for the extra point. He hits, and it's 14 all. 10 13 to go in the second quarter. It's a tie game here at the U.S. Airways Center. And this is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty TV. I win this contest top of the stands. Top of the Rattlers, question of the night. And here's your host, J.M. King of the Red Pack. Thank you very much, Jeff. Let's meet tonight's contestant, Marvin. Answer tonight's question correctly, and you will receive an Arizona Rattlers prize pack. All right, are you ready for the question? All right, here you go. Odie Armstrong's favorite superhero is A. Superman, B. Spider-Man, or C. Batman. Think it over a minute, fans. Help her out. Back at the U.S. Airways Center in Phoenix, 14 all with 10-13 to go in the first half. Arizona and San Jose deadlocked in a Western Division showdown. Rattlers trying to close out the division and clinch a playoff berth tonight. San Jose trying to get in their way. A couple other scores to update on here. Jacksonville did go final and beat Milwaukee. Dallas took care of Iowa 65-55. to And in action right now, Utah's doubling up Pittsburgh 54-27 to early in the third quarter. And Spokane and Chicago are not at 20 up in Death Valley. That in the early goings of the second. Death Valley? Death, D-E-A-F Valley. Because reportedly it's so loud there, you come out a little deaf. Oh, Death Valley. What? Uh huh. Gamboa kicks it away. Gray is back to receive. Yeah. Uh, doesn't even hit the net, but Gray's going to take a shot running it out. Gets out to the five. Gets around a tackle. Gets around a second one. A third one. Gray's got a link. Cut He's gone. Right. Goodbye. He's Virgil gone. Gray all the way. Touchdown, Arizona. And Virgil Gray does it again. That man is electric. How many times have we seen Virgil Gray run back a kick? One, two, three. Four times. Fourth one this year for Virgil Gray. Second look at it on the replay. He gets around Gamboa, cuts to the right. He's got nothing but AstroTurf. Thomas tries to get him at the goal line, but to no avail. And it's 20 to 14, Arizona. You know, Virgil Gray just gets a little sliver of uh, opening, and he's just gone. Second straight week that Virgil Gray has run one all the way. Scott Sean for the extra point. Boy, that's electrifying. Kick is up. He hit it dead center. 
The Rattlers answer back, 21 to 14 with 9.06 to go in the second. The Rattlers lead it. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty TV. If you just tuned in, one, where have you been? And two, you just missed Virgil Gray with a 56-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. His fourth of the season. Second in this many weeks. And, boy, that guy makes one move and gone. I, I'll tell you, like I said, you know, he gets a, that just that little sliver. And forget it. Wow. Forget it. He just goes. That is the second kick return for a touchdown we've seen so far tonight. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a third one. I just wouldn't at this break. Yeah. So, I, I think tonight Virgil Gray could get another one. Well, you said that last week, and he almost did. Almost. Tonight, though, against the Sabercats, I think he can do it. Yep. Only time will tell. But the other guy who's running kickback for a touchdown, Chris Vetter's back to receive. This one, Scotch is going to tee it up. Gotcha kicks it deep. He's going to hammer it off the right net. Now, actually through the slack net and off the top of the padding. It's going to be a touchback. And given the fact uh, Vetter's already run one of these back, that's not a bad way to start. Nope, nope, it isn't. That's a, uh, you know, that's a good play. So San Jose's got it. Nine minutes to go in the first half, trailing by a touchdown on their own five-yard line. And we'll see how the Rattler defense responds here. Last time out on the field, wound up giving up a touchdown and three penalties on that last drive. I'm sorry, one penalty on the last drive, my mistake. Hey. Grieve tries to go for the screen to Cook. Got him at the five. Gets turned towards the wall. Glasper runs him out there at the seven. And just it's going to be up. a gain of two. Yeah, two or three yards down there. So it's going to be second and seven at the eight. They're going to give him three yards on a uh, good spot there. And again, Sabercats bottled up deep in their own end of the field. They've had three drives so far. None of them have started outside the five-yard line. Nelson, the man in motion. Greed drops back. Looking, fires left. He's got Thomas. Thomas out across the 15. Virgil Gray pinched him into the boards, but not before Thomas gets a first down at the 18. It's a 10-yard gain and a first down for the Sabercats. You know, again, uh, what you see are a lot, a lot of teams trying to do with the uh, with the Rattlers are the uh, are the short passes, and that's uh, that's exactly what uh, uh, San Jose is trying here tonight. They're trying to make the Rattlers run left and right across the field. And it's a little bit harder to try and cover, you know, 80 feet of field going that way as opposed to what they're used to all the way up and down. James in motion. Grieb finds him at midfield where he gets met by Vince Hill and Virgil Gray. And it's going to begin at about six on the play. Victor James on the reception. I believe that's his first one of the evening. So second and what looks like two coming up here at the Arizona 24. 6.57 to go in the first half, 21-14. Rattlers with the lead. Nelson the motion man. Grieve drops back. 
Fires it for the end zone. That is going to be dropped by Nelson. Virgil Gray had his hand in there to break that up. Another great play by Virgil Gray. Yeah, very good play. And it's getting bring up third down. Very good play. And for you uh, Arizona Diamondbacks fans, just got the report that the uh, Diamondbacks have lost tonight against the Chicago White Sox. Final of that game, 3-2. to two. So, well, one set of the Snakes next door didn't win. The question is, will the Snakes here win the wrap up the division? Find out. Nelson, the motion man. Creed looks left, going for Nelson again. Up top, does he have it? Waiting for a signal. Yep, he's got it. Touchdown. Nelson ran a streak down the. the it looks, looks like he did go out of bounds. I mean the. Even the fans are slapping the pads over there, but I Second guess. Second look at that one, Nelson. He bumped up against the boards, but was never touched until maybe got right. in the end zone by Floyd. Right, right. I mean, he didn't. Uh, he didn't get tackled out of bounds. So 21-20, the score now. Juan Gambo on for another extra point for the SaberCats. Kick is good. We are tied. 21-21 with 5:27 to go in the first half. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty TV. A big one for the Snake Pit tonight. From your Phoenix Mercury, please welcome Cameron Braxton. Also here tonight from the Mercury, Ola Sonny. The Mercury are hoping the ninth man become part of the sixth man. Tomorrow afternoon when they take on Indiana, right here at U.S. Airway Center at 3 p.m. Good luck, Mercury. Back again in the U.S. Airways Center, and we've got a tie game with 5.27 to go in the second quarter. 21 all San Jose gets the last score there. That was going to be Grieve to Bishop for 24 yards, and Bishop made the play along the boards to reel that in. And that's where we are. And so far, been an exciting game up and back. A couple kickoff returns for touchdowns. Get the feeling that this might be another one of those seesaw back and forth kind of games like we've seen earlier this year in this building. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I, you know, I don't know if my heart can take it. But they are fun. Got that right. But look who's back. Virgil Gray. The only thing about this, to go in this way, it always seems like quite a bit of time and it hits the overhang here and then it's all dead. But last time he didn't make the net. Yeah. And that's what happened. He kicked it short and Gray ran it all the way back. Gambo got a little too aggressive trying to shut down the lane to make the tackle and right by him. So... 21 all, five and a half to go in the second quarter. Gambo to kick it off. Gray back to return. And here we go. This one's spinning end over end a little bit short. Gray has a funny hop off there, but he controls it going to his right. Gray gets out of the end zone at the five of the ten. He runs over Gambo and gets to the 12, but he just simply runs out of real estate. Gambo will get credited with the tackle, and the Rattlers have okay field position to start this next drive. Yeah, Gambo better not try that again. I don't know. He keeps on getting up, up into the tackle spot. Next time, Virgil Gray is going to run right past him again. So someone we haven't seen on the field in a while is Nick Davila. Hey, he's back out there. Just because the Rattler offense hasn't had to work lately, he's got Reed over the middle to 20. Tries to get out of a tackle, but he can't. He gets knocked down by Quinton Andrews, but he does get enough for a first down. Yeah, you're right. Uh, well, I'm sorry, what's, the, what's our quarterback's name again? Nick, yeah, I haven't seen him in a long time. Nick Davila. And I hope that our friends over on the San Jose side uh, know how to know his name now. I know they asked us before, and they thought his name was Davila, but no, it's not. Read in motion. Davila's got Windsor over the middle. Man misses the tackle, and Windsor falls down at the eight. Dwight McLean nearly 
got burned, but if, if uh, Rod Windsor doesn't fall down, he has got nothing but clear sailing all the way to the end zone. Yeah. Unfortunately, he fell down, but uh, he'll but he get back up again. But he still fell down far enough to get a 14-yard gain and give the Rattlers first and goal at the San Jose 8. And yet again, so far tonight, every completion of Nick Davila, at least 10 yards. Read in motion. Davila the fade for Windsor too far, and it's going to be second and goal. And last week wasn't like every play was at least 13 yards. Or yeah, every play was 13 yards except for two, and those two were touchdowns, every completion that he had. Right. So again, at least 10 yards. So three and a half to go in the second quarter. Not at 21. Windsor to the top. Reed in the middle. He gathers on the bottom. Now he comes in motion. Dalva drops back, looking left, pumps. Fires for the end zone. Windsor! Nope, it's Gathers. Gathers. Gathers, that's a touchdown. And, and, and again, again he gets the penalty. He gets, he gets three flags thrown after Gathers threw the ball at the mask of Quentin Andrews following the touchdown. I don't know. I, I, you know, I just don't understand. Why do you want to do that? Maybe he thinks the penalty won't get accessed again. I don't know. Either way, the touchdown is going to count. The uh, flag, is, the penalty is after the play ends. And I think it, I doubt you're going to see Gethers back out there for the rest of the first half. You do something like that, and you're going to be sitting on the bench for a while. So the refs are talking over with the Rattlers to discuss options, and here's the call. All right, so they're offsetting penalties, and the, rat, the, the touchdown still counts. Right. Scotch is going to come on for the extra point, but I tell you something. I so, don't know what I don't. I'm not quite sure what number uh, number one of the Saber Cats uh, actually did there, uh, Rod. Uh, he may not have done something, but he probably said something that was just as bad. I, either way, Scotch takes the extra point. The Rattlers are up by seven. We have a second look at a touchdown here. Gathers in the back of the end zone. Catches it and just throws it right in Andrew's face mask. It's a rivalry game. It's getting heated. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on NFT. Back to the U.S. Airways Center where it's 28-21. The Rattlers have the lead with just under three minutes to go in the first half. Jason Gethers, the last touchdown catch for the Rattlers from eight yards out. And then afterwards, he flipped the ball at the face mask of Quentin Andrews. That was not the best decision he could have made. Yeah, I, I guess it was. <laughs> and he wasn't trying to throw it back to the ref because Andrews was a little bit farther up the field. Well... Oh, we have a TV timeout here. So Coming back out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So Vetter's back deep to return this one. Scotchy will kick it off, and now yeah, we're just about ready to go. And actually, Gethers is out there on kick coverage. And I'm sure he got an earful from Arizona head coach Kevin Guy about that play.
Scotch it tees it up. And better watches it off the net. He's got it cleanly. Gets out to the five, out to the ten. Odie Armstrong rides him to the turf. And the Sabercats have the ball on their own ten yard line to start this next possession. Yeah, the train hit him. Two forty-five to go in the first half. But remember, Arizona will get the ball to open the second half as well. So now this is the point where the Rattlers have got to start thinking about how to be efficient with the clock, and when they get the ball back, that is, and try and chain up a, a touchdown at the end of the first half with one to open the second half and get some distance. Right. Row in motion, cuts back. Reeb, quick slant left to Thomas. Thomas to the 10 at the 15, out to the 20. Tries to go to around midfield. Gets over the midfield stripe where Virgil Gray knocks him down. And that's going to be enough for a San Jose first down. It's going to meet the Arizona 23. A gain of 17 on the play. It was good to see the old hockey boards as one of the pads fell off the wall. We remember we used to broadcast hockey here That's not that long ago. About five years ago, actually. Row in motion on the bottom. Grebe drops back, has some time going for row. Oh, that's, flag. that's a flag. That's Marquise Floyd. That's pass interference. That'll be a first down for San Jose. Floyd was locked arm in arm with James Row, and that's a pretty easy call to make. They were locked arm in arm? Yeah. Okay. So I expect that to be first and 10 for the Sabercats at the Arizona 13. And that's. Okay, well, that's a spot foul, apparently, because it was intentional. So instead of being at the 10, it's now at the 5. And it's going to be first and goal coming up here for San Jose. Didn't look like it was an intentional. That is what referee Shane Anderson has ruled it to be. And that's what we're going to have here. Thomas on the top, row in motion. Give to Cook. Cook running to his right. Gets to the five, winds up getting snowed under. Gray hit him low. Glasper hit him high. And he maybe got a yard. Yeah, that was uh, that was good pursuit by the, uh, by the defense. Indeed, it was very nice lateral pursuit. No gain on the play. So it's going to be second goal at the five. And we're going to we're coming right down to the one minute warning, huh? Indeed, we are. So let's take a timeout here. 28 21, the Rattlers lead it, but San Jose's threatening. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty. And go back to the more traditional outdoor football rules, if you will, where clock stops after incompletions, out of bounds plays. So there's a lot more potential to score a lot more points quickly here, even though there's only 60 seconds left in the first half. Well, if they could, if they could hold them here, that would be a, a great thing. If not, let them score quick so we can get the ball back. Thomas and Nelson down low, row in motion. 
Grebe looks left. You got your quick score there to Nelson, and we have a flag down in the backfield. Let's see if this stands and see who's who it's on. I think it's on. Uh, I think it's on Tyree. Yep. So the Rattlers get hit with a roughing the passer penalty. That will be enforced a little bit later. 28-27 the score now as the touchdown is good. Greed to Nelson from five yards. Gambo on for the PAT to try and tie this up. Kick is up. That's good. 28 all. So you got the quick score you wanted there. All right. And looks like we're just going to keep this right here. We're going to keep on going. But, uh, again, 57 seconds left. San Jose has two timeouts. Arizona has three. Well, you got plenty of time to get down here, take enough time off the, uh, take enough time off the clock. And, uh, you know, the thing is, though, there will be a penalty assessed, correct? There is scheduled to be a penalty assessed. Now what happens here? What happens here? So what will happen? Put, you, put gray, you put gray back, right? Yeah, you Gray do. runs it back for a touchdown. Then they'd assess it on the, on the PAT attempt. Oh, my God. That's nothing. <laughs> it's, still, it's still 10 yards just the same. And like we mentioned earlier, the penalty flags have been piling up so far. 13 penalties called tonight, more than 100 yards, 120 yards, actually. Yeah, they're, they're piling up. They're, you know, and, and they've, they've had penalties in uh, – Key situations, the roughing the passer uh, down here at this end, right around the five-yard line, when it was like fourth and twenty or something like that, and uh, you know that's yeah, that's fourth. not great. What you did was uh, you you actually gave them points. Yeah, fourth and twenty-one on their own twelve, and a roughing the passer penalty kept San Jose going. But Virgil Gray back. Virgil Gray's been back just about the whole night, hasn't he? He has. So with Trandon Harvey out with that groin injury, it all falls on Virgil Gray. Gambo, an onside kick attempt. There's going to be a flag down against San Jose. The Rattlers have recovered it on the seven-yard line, but this is probably going to be offside against San Jose. Decline the penalty. The Rattlers get great field position. And the Rattlers got it. I believe yeah. Vince Hill recovered the ball. Little sneakiness there. So what do you do? You run Odie a few times? You might as well. I mean, you've got three timeouts. San Jose has two, and you've got 55 seconds plus the ball to open the second half. So, There you go. Thank you, Shane Anderson, for that. So the penalty there from the last, uh, the roughing the passer is now offset. First and goal, Arizona at the San Jose 8 after recovering that onside kick. Read the motion, man. Windsor on the top, Gethers out there as well. Davla drops back, looking to his left. He's got Gethers. Gethers is crushed against the boards at the four. He actually still stays in bounds somehow. Better there on the tackle, and it's going to be second and goal. And now we've got a whistle. We're going to have a timeout called by Arizona. Check that. San Jose takes a timeout. That's going to be their second as they are trying to preserve clock here in the waning moments of the first half. Winds up being a three-yard gain, actually. So second and goal at the five. And we will simply keep it here. A couple of the scores to update on here. Utah really sticking at the Pittsburgh. They have a 40-point lead, 67-27 to 27 in the fourth. Spokane and Chicago, that's a dogfight. 28-27, the Shock lead the rush in the final minute of the first half there. So, that is what we're looking at right now. Again, Jacksonville won earlier this evening to improve to 12-1. So the pressure's on the Rattlers to try and keep up and keep within striking distance of the Sharks to try and catch that number one overall seed in the Arena Football League playoffs, which begin in just over five weeks. Windsor and Reed, Gethers in motion. Davo drops back, short pass. Gethers got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. 
And multiple flags thrown after the touchdown. So the touchdown is going to count either way. It's going to be Gether's second touchdown catch of the night. A five-yard score here. And we'll see what these flags are thrown for in the end zone. Probably a little more unsportsmanlike conduct as these two teams continue to jaw at each other. Well, Jason Gethers got flagged for unsportsmanlike conduct for the second time in as many trips down the field. The touchdown's good. It's 34-28 Arizona. We have 38 seconds to go here in the first half. Fabrizio Scott on for the extra point. Kick is up. He hits it. 35-28. The Rattlers with a one-touchdown lead. And we will step aside here for a quick timeout. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty TV. A second look at the Gellers touchdown. Actually, we'll hold it right here, and he threw, uh, there it is. That's why he got that unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. He threw the ball at a player for the second time tonight. Again, let's take that break. 35-28 Rattlers, Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty TV. Airways Center 35 to 28 the Rattlers lead this one with 38 seconds to go in case you just missed it Jason Gethers catches a five-yard touchdown pass from Nick Dobble in the corner of the end zone and for the second time as many trips down the field throws the ball to San Jose player and gets Doc from sportsman like conduct thank you for letting me know about Gethers because I did miss that one so that's what happened Gethers has three touchdown catches tonight and two unsportsmanlike like conduct penalties after him Onside kick tried by Arizona. The Rattlers have it. It's going to be Scotia almost had it bounce off his hands. I the think San Jose got it got back. It, they and did. did. Oh, Fabrizio Scotia had his hand on it. You got to reel that in. They got to tell him about putting glue on his hands. They haven't explained that to him yet. Stick them. Stick them, people. Stick them. So San Jose is going to be set up with a really good field position here. Well, let's let him score quick. Well, it's going to be first and goal on the five, but now there's it's going to actually be first and goal at about the three as the Gethers penalty is enforced. What's with Gethers and the penalties tonight? What is that? I mean, what's, what, what's, what's wrong with I don't know this? why. I mean, that's, like I said, two consecutive unsportsmanlike conduct penalties after touchdowns. You know, I think that question needs to be posed to uh, coach tonight. Greaves got time. Greaves going to run. Greaves going to get tackled by Jason Gethers. Yeah, right at the. Uh, and it's going to be another timeout called by San Jose. And he got tackled right like at no, the three and that. Timeout's called by Arizona. Their first. San Jose has used a, used a second timeout earlier. Gethers, great job of being a stay-at-home linebacker on that one. Winds up getting. I think Greaves maybe got a yard on that. Yep. Think, yeah, he got and maybe got back to the, the original line. It of looks scrimmage. like he got back to the original line. He, he's lucky that uh, you know not only that he didn't lose a yard, but he didn't lose his head. Well, keep in mind too that if he would have if he wouldn't have gotten that ball over the three yard line, that the clock would have stopped. It would have been like another timeout for the Rattlers. So now the chess match really begins here with 26 seconds left as it's the timeout battle, as it's the ground game that kicks in here, and we'll see what happens. Thomas on the bottom. In the middle is going to be Nelson. Row the motion man. Greed drops back, looking to his left. He's got time, throws to the back of the end zone. That is caught for a touchdown by Thomas. And we are an extra point away from being tied again. Three yeah, yards. seconds to go here. There's still, you know, there's still enough time. Three-yard touchdown rally. catch there by Marco Thomas. That is his first of the night. And we'll see what happens here on this PAT. (laughs) 
Snap back to Gamboa. Dead center. 35 all with 20 seconds to go in the first half. And let's just keep it here for a minute. That's what everyone yep. else is going to do. Okay. So, 35-35, still 20 seconds left. So, plenty of time to score easily two or three more touchdowns in the first half. Well, Rattlers, uh, it would be nice if they could score here. Well, it's been quick scores. I don't think we've seen a drive last more than about four or five plays in any of the last. We could let Gether score here and get another personal uh, foul. No, we're trying to keep the team going forward, not backwards here, but San Jose's last three drives have all ended in touchdowns and all been less than five, five plays or less. Rattlers last uh, three times touching the ball have been a kickoff return for a touchdown, a four-play drive, and a two-play drive. It's like the express lane of arena football here. Yeah. Five plays or less. Well, let's see what Virgil Gray can do here. Let's see if it even gets kicked to Virgil Gray because last time San Jose tried an onside kick. They could try it again. They're, they're, at some point here, they really do want to keep it away from them. And he is setting it up for an outside kick. I can see the way that the uh, ball is tilted. Let's see if I'm right. Gathers, Windsor, and Armstrong are up there as the proverbial hands unit, if you will. Nope. Nope. He's it's, gonna. It's, it's not gonna over, hit the net again. Nope. End over end wobbler. Gray in his own end zone. Out to the five. Cuts right around the ten. Cuts back to the oh. left. He, does he have room? He tries to get around Vetter, and he gets knocked down to <laughs> the ten but still eats a few more seconds off the clock. Gathers has it out to the 11-yard line. That's where Arizona starts with, thir with uh, 13 seconds left in the first half. Check that, it's gonna be their 12th. But still, not a bad thing for Gathers there to, I'm sorry, for Gray to dipsy doodle a little bit. It just eats a little more time off the clock. All right. How about Windsor? Reads the motion, man. Dalva drops back. He's trying to get away from the pressure. Throws it towards the sideline. That is into about the third row. And it's incomplete. Second and ten. Seven seconds to go. Now, there's a song if you're a Blackhawk fan from last year, you got to be familiar That's with. That's right. We could start doing it. That's right. Well, do, 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 do. They still sing it. Yeah. I don't know why they started it, though, but it's someone crazy. Someone heard it, and it's stuck. It's like us with OD Express, right? Yeah. Gathers in motion. Dabla drops back, looking to pass. He's got to get rid of it. He does so. He's got a man underneath, knocked out of the boards. Yeah, that's going to be that's Fox. It. And that's how the first half ends. Uh, guys on the field looking for one more second, and the officials are going to be huddling up here to see if he's going to get it. Either way, it's going to be a first down near midfield. The question is, did the half end? No, so they are going to put one. They are going to put yep, one more. One second. second up, and Scotch is going to come out. We're going to try for a field goal. So it's a 12-yard game. It'll technically be first and ten at the 23 of Arizona. I say, I say, fake the field goal and go for a touchdown. I would have done that in the game against New Orleans on fourth down at the end of the first half. So it was at the one at that point. So Scotch is going to try and hammer this home from about 35 I yards out. I can't see out. the field anymore. And we have whistles, and I believe we have a timeout called. Timeout, we do. Why don't we take one with him? All right, quick timeout, Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty. Fabrizio Scotch is going to come on to attempt a field goal here with one second left in the first half. Tied at 35 all here in a Western Division showdown on a Saturday night. U.S. Airways Center in Phoenix. Rattler win clinches the division. So Scott, the ball's going to be spotted on a 15. Snap's good. Spot's good. Scotch's kick is up. It's a little low. It's wide. Vetter's going to try and return it. Does he get out of the end zone? No. Excellent special teams play there by Vince Hill. 
And that's how the first half ends. 35 to Rules of the game brought to you by Napa. Napa know-how. Eight players per side on the field. Players may be offense or defense. The clock runs nonstop until the final minute of each half. No punting. No stunning or twisting. One receiver may move in forward motion before the snap. Rebounds off the net are allowed. Players can be tackled into the wall. And that's the rules of the game brought to you by Napa. Napa know-how.
Welcome back to the U.S. Airways Center in Phoenix. It is halftime. Arizona Rattlers 35. San Jose Sabercats 35. Tie first, good tie game in the first half. Each team with a kick return for a touchdown. It's getting heated down there as well. Here's my Kelly. Your thoughts on the first half, Kingpin? And uh, Kelly on the road trip out here. That's Kelly on the road trip. That's good, everybody. All, uh, all 10,000 people listening to us right now know that it's Kelly on the road trip. So, so with that, uh, with, so with that, Nords. With that. Well, let's also, like we mentioned earlier at the top of the show, Hall of Fame. There are going, there are ten nominees. Five are going to be selected. The we mentioned earlier, Darren Arbet, the head coach of San Jose. Gene Nudo, president GM of the uh, Rattlers for a while before now he's with Chicago. Who's been in the, who's been in the league for uh, how many years now? Pretty much ever since it started in '87. You know another Rattler named Hunky Cooper. Hunky Cooper. Hunky Cooper's in there. Uh, some of the other ones include uh, wide receiver and defensive back Barry Wagner, who was who was ranked as the second greatest player in AFL history. Um, George LaFrance, an offensive specialist for Tampa Bay, five-time Arena Bowl champion. A uh, couple of offensive, uh, defensive linemen, Sylvester uh, Bemberry there. He dominated the middle of the line for Tampa Bay for about three, four solid years. I think he recorded something like 57 sacks in three seasons. 
which wow. in this game is pretty amazing. Uh, yep. Eddie Brown, the wideout rig, the greatest player in AFL history by the AFL Historical Committee, three-time offensive player of the year. And so our bet, Ben Berry, Eddie Brown, Hunky Cooper, Sam Hernandez, the AFL's all-time sack leader, actually with 59. Sylvester Benberry, also a very proficient player getting to the quarterback. Uh, the France Nudo, Steve, uh, Stevie Thomas, a four-time Arena Bowl champion with Tampa Bay. And the last guy on the list here, probably the biggest household name, Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner, yep. Kurt, Kurt Warner, former Iowa Barnstormer, and we all know what happened to him. So these are the finalists. These are the ten finalists. Five of them will make the Hall of Fame. My question is, which five? Kurt Warner. Uh, Hunky Cooper. George LaFrance. I'm going to take someone from the front office, and I'm going to go with, uh, you know what? I'm going to go with Gene Nudo. That's four. Who would you think would be a fifth one? I don't know. That's a tough question. Who do you think? For me, you've got to go with, obviously, Warner because of how he really kind of brought this league to more of a household basis. Noodle for what he's done for the game. Um, It's real hard to pass up guys like George LaFrance and Barry Wagner both of which in the war on I-4, Orlando and Tampa, all those years, they both are incredible standouts. And that fifth one... Rules of the game brought to you by Napa. Napa know how. Eight players per side on the field. Players may be offense or defense. The clock runs nonstop until the final minute of each half. No punning. No stunning or twisting. One receiver may move in forward motion before the snap. Rebounds off the net are allowed. Players can be tackled into the wall. And that's the rules of the game brought to you by Napa. Napa know how. I think uh, Kevin Guy could have been too thrilled too many penalties this is ridiculous we talked about this before this game that this is crazy you have to start tightening it up tonight what i've seen and what i've seen out of gathers if they if they had uh you know uh trans and harvey here gathers would be benched that's what i would do with him because it, it's uncalled for what he's done after every touchdown He's got three touchdowns tonight on only four catches, but after the last two touchdowns, unsportsmanlike kind of penalties have been called. And so far tonight, 12 flags for 100 yards in penalty action. So, And, and I, I would think that that is, uh, you know, what the discussion was at, uh, at halftime. Um, and, of course, this drive coming up and... Uh, you know, you've got uh, Virgil Gray going back again, so uh, anything can happen. Well, Gray's broken it once tonight. Can he do it again? We don't know. Chris Vetter has also a kick six, as I like to call them, a kickoff return for a touchdown. You know, interception returns for touchdowns are pick six. I call these the kick six. Vetter's got one so far for San Jose, a 56-yarder for their first points of the night. So, And, of course... Rattlers are still trying to close out the Western Division. Win here and they do it. So There's a lot of stake here tonight because uh, I don't even want to talk about it, about an L. No. But if there is. Well, let's talk about Juan Gamboa kicking this one away to start the second half. Virgil Gray is going to field it cleanly off the net. Gets turned around to the 5 to the 10. He's got a lane. Cuts around Gamboa to the 15. Tripped up by the kicker. Gamboa got a hand on him and knocks him down just short of midfield. And if Gamboa doesn't get a lucky right hand on that one, Virgil Gray is gone again. You know, we've talked about uh, Gamboa pinching in a little bit too much. Uh, 
uh, he almost got caught up again because if he doesn't get the hand in him, again, another Virgil Gray return. Yeah. So Rattlers have real nice field position to open the second half. Winds are on the bottom, Gethers on the top. Reed will be your motion man. Dalva drops back, fakes, goes over to Gethers, gets to the San Jose 20 where he gets upended by Quentin Andrews. And that's going to be about a seven yard gain. Second and three coming up for Arizona. Well, I want to see if Gethers scores here, if he's going to throw the ball at anybody this time. That is a very valid point with what we've seen so far in this game. All right, they're going to give him a gain of eight, so second and two coming up here for the Rattlers. Reed in motion. Davo drops back, quick hit to Windsor off his hand and incomplete. Going to be third and two coming up here. Coach Guy didn't look too happy on that incomplete pass because uh, Davila just didn't hit him in stride. And then had he hit him in stride, it would have been a first down and then some. So third down in what looks like a rather long two coming up here. Reed in motion. Davila drops back, goes for Gethers. He got a first down along the top of the boards. And nothing happens after the play. The Rattlers keep going. Yep. No penalties. That's what you're looking for with Gethers tonight. Thankfully, one of those penalties wound up getting nullified by another San Jose penalty, but still, you can't be taking undisciplined penalties like that at any point in the game. You know, I just don't understand it this late in the season. First and 10 at the San Jose 14. Davila pitch to Odie. The Odie Express fires it up. Goes left to the 10, down to the 5, barely through defenders. He's he lost the it. ball. He it. And that is loose in the end zone. San Jose says they've got it. And they do. I know they do. And we're still waiting for a ruling. And that's going to be a touchback. The Odie Express lost the ball. And San Jose makes a defensive stop to open the open the second half. They get the ball on the five. That puts some pressure on the defense. So Odie gets so as you take a second look at it here. Odie trying to go left, trying to go through four San Jose defenders. Falls down. That ball may not have been out before he was down. Yeah, but there's no uh, no there's replay. The replay. So San Jose takes over at their five yard line. Grieb drops back. Finds his tight end over the middle. That's a real big man lumbering downfield at to the 20 to midfield. He hits Mark Lewis, the offensive lineman, with that one. That's about a 20-yard gain, and I tell you, that's about as close to a rumble as you can get. <laughs> yeah. Mark Lewis is not a small guy. 6'3", 300 pounds out of Oregon, according to what the card says. That, that didn't look like the Odie Express. That looked like the Adi Express. You know, either way, that uh, was rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, and chugging its way to the 23-yard line of the Rattlers where San Jose has it now. Grieb drops back, quick hitter to Thomas over to the far side, and he gets knocked off his feet at the 18. It's going to be a gain of five. And now we've got more problems after the play here. Floyd and Lewis locking horns. I believe Floyd threw a head, may have headbutted Lewis after the whistle. And the Rattlers have got to find a way to hold it together. Otherwise, these penalties are just going to kill them. Well, they've killed him all night. And here, here he is going after. He's going to wind up getting himself tossed out. You don't want to have that happen to one of your better defensive backs. And there's Gethers opening up his mouth down there now, too. So let's see what the calls are. Here's Shane Anderson, the referee. There it is. Yep, they're uh, they're imploding here. Indeed, they are. So it's going to be first and goal at the nine-yard line of the Rattlers. The Rattler defense has got to get its head screwed back on here real quick and stop these Sabercats before they take the lead. Eleven minutes to go in the third quarter. Thirty-five all as Nelson is the man in motion. 
Give inside to Cook. Cook powers his way to the five. Touchdown. Gets down to the goal touchdown. line. Touchdown, touchdown. Yeah, ran through Marquise Floyd. And San Jose takes the lead for the first time tonight. Just inside 11 minutes to go in the third quarter. 41-35, Sabercats on top. You know, I'm uh, I'm the Sabercats here. The way that the uh, uh, the motions are running high on the uh, on, on the Rattlers tonight, and I I really don't understand why. You know, because they're imploding out here. If I was the uh, Sabercats, what I would try here on the ensuing uh, kickoff. Well, first let's make sure Gamboa hits the extra point. He does. What I would try is an onside kick because I think that they can recover it right now. So take a timeout as there's one on the field as well. 42 to 35, San Jose with his first lead of the night. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty. It's Arizona Rattlers football. For single game tickets, visit azrattlers.com. Airways Center in Phoenix. It's 42 to 35. The San Jose Sabercats have the lead. Second half opened up with the Rattlers getting the ball. Odie Armstrong coughed it up and San Jose recovered it, took it down the field, and they have their first lead of the night. So now the Rattlers have got to play in this catch up mode, but they have been pretty good playing from behind this season. And they have, but the thing is, is we talked about it all the first half. I mean, uh, and then now, again, more penalties. Yeah, the fumble, yes, but uh, you know what? You can't implode. Yeah, you've got to keep your head securely uh, sewn on your shoulders here. Gamboa's kickoff is in the corner of the end zone. Gray's going to take it back out. Gets around Vetter at the goal line. Shakes him off there. Going to the 10, going to the far side. Gets upended at the 15. Nice tackle there by Andrews, and that's where the Rattlers start this next drive at their own 15-yard line. 10-13 to go in the third quarter. San Jose up by a score. You know, every time that uh, Virgil Gray gets the ball, he has a, uh, he can almost break it just about any time. So he's really dangerous. Now let's see what the uh, Rattler uh, offense can do. How will they respond after the way this second half has opened very unfavorably for Arizona? We'll see. Geller's the motion man. Davila drops back, looking right, fires at Windsor, got at the 20. And that's about as far as he's going to get as he gets tackled by five or six Sabercats. About a four to five yard gain there in second and uh, about mid-range coming up for Arizona. Gain of five, second and five. Well, at least a simple play, just a simple slant pass out to Windsor. Yeah, keep something safe just to uh, hopefully get the team back in. Uh, Fox the man in motion. Dalva drops back under pressure, gets away. Now he's going to tuck it and run. He's going to get sacked back at the 16-yard line. And it's going to be nine high, nine heis. Gabe nine heis, the defensive lineman just picked up this week, who makes the tackle. Loss of about three and a half on the play. Yeah, you're, uh, but I, I almost feel like calling a timeout right now and start gathering the whole team and say, hey, guys, wake up. 
but at this point you still need him because there's still no, I 23 know. minutes of football. I know. I'm just saying, you know, if this is a hockey game, this is where I'd be calling my timeout. Tavlo drops back on third down, fires over the middle for Reed. Caught it in inside the five, and it's going to be a first down for the Rattlers. I've checked that. Glenn Fox with the catch, and it's going to be first and goal. So just as soon as we think the Rattlers are bottled up and possibly in trouble, they break right out. Second look at this one. Reed got a step on the defender, dragged down at about the four-yard line. Beautiful pass play, gain of about 27. And first and goal at the four. Fox and Windsor on the bottom. Gathers the motion man. Davila drops back looking left. Going for Fox. That's incomplete. Rattlers want a pass interference call, and they're not going to get one against Dwight McLean. No, nope, no, nope, that was that was not pass interference. He got hit after the ball was, uh, let's just say, catchable. So second and goal on the San Jose four. And so far tonight, I've got Fox with six, uh, unofficially six catches for 54 yards. Real nice night there for Glenn Fox. He goes in motion again. Davo drops back, looking left. Fires for the end zone, going for Windsor. Now, and it'll be pass right. interference. Right. Rattlers are going to have first and goal at the San Jose two. And there's the call by Shane Anderson, our referee. Rattlers get a fresh set of downs. Now, this is when maybe where you give it to Odie Armstrong, let him kind of redeem himself after that last run ending the fumble. Especially in this close range, yeah, it's Odie time. Yep. Let him run over a few folks Gethers here. in motion. Davla gives to Gethers. Gethers sweeping to the wow. right. Does he get in? Waiting for a signal. He... I still can't tell. He may have been stopped just short of the goal line. So Gethers, uh, just short. So Gethers gains out of the two yards necessary about one and seven eighths, and it's going to be OD time. That's what it's going to be. A second and goal from less than a sandwich from the end zone. It's OD time. Or it could be a double sneak. We've seen, we've seen him run that before. We'll just get behind an offensive lineman, duck down, and push ahead. It's OD time. Well, either way, let's see what happens here. Second and goal. Gethers in motion. Pitch. Gethers again. Gethers cutting right. Does he get in the end zone? No, no he stood up. I don't understand. And Quentin Andrews stands him up there at the two. Gethers may have lost a yard on that play, and it's going to bring up now third and goal. Don't quite understand that. You know, I could see Gethers going once. I couldn't see him going twice. When you got a guy like Odie who can just knock people backwards. Second look, Andrews did a nice job holding this position on the goal line and did not allow Gethers in. So, third and goal at the one. Gethers, it's, Fox, and Windsor all down to the bottom. It's Odie time. There's Odie. The Odie Express tries Ooh, to get he it. Not he got get denied. It. Better with a big hit. Ooh. And Odie is stuffed out of the end zone. San Jose playing uh, playing some great defense down some there. Some real smash mouth football in the uh, red zone there. Now it's fourth and goal at the one. Second look at this one. Odie, you see better there at number 10. Quentin Andrews got him finished off. Fourth and goal. At this point, this is a big play in the game for Arizona. They really need to score. Fox the motion man. Dava drops back, looking to his right. Fires it in the back of the end zone. That is broken up. It's headed for Gethers. There's no flag. San Jose holds, and they have the ball at the at their own one-yard line. Arizona has come up empty in its last and two. And a flag up. on the play, too, for uh, I believe it will be unsportsmanlike conduct on the Rattlers. They are imploded. No, it's down on the four-yard line. We'll see what the call is. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 32 of the offense. That penalty will be a force. Ten yards, first down, San Jose. And that call was on Odie Armstrong. 
So we'll take the time out on the field. We'll take it as well. San Jose has a seven point lead and the ball. This is route. This is Pro Sports Broadcast. <laughs> Back in the U.S. Airways Center in Phoenix, the San Jose Sabercats kept the Arizona Rattlers out of the end zone. Four shots inside the two. Actually, five of them inside the four. San Jose has a 42-35 lead. The ball on the 11-yard line. And unless the Arizona Rattlers can stop becoming so emotionally unglued and drawing penalties, this does not bode well for the Rattlers for the rest of the night. It, it doesn't look good. And this, uh, this game not only was to uh, win your division, because it's really all they still need to win your division is just one game. But the thing is... You lose this game, you might not have uh, home field advantage throughout your playoff. You, may, you won't. The, Most likely you the won't. The only good news so far is that Spokane is now up 22 on Chicago, so it may not hurt him in the national conference race. Grebe tried a hard count, may have drawn the Rattlers offside. Could have also been a false. Could have also been a false start. We'll see what the call is. San Jose's pointing it towards. Uh, that's on the Rattlers. So that's going to give San Jose another first down. First and 10 at the 16 now, but that's one of those where the Rattlers are just drawn off with a hard count. Nope, not a whole lot you can do there. You know, Rattlers are unglued. They, they, have, they have actually, they have come unglued. But yet, despite all this, they're only down by a touchdown. Row in motion. Grieve drops back, looks left. He's got Thomas on, on the near boards. Tries to get away from a couple defenders. Floyd can't get him. He'll eventually drags him down at the 23 of the Rattlers. That's a 12 yard gain the first down. A little more pushing and shoving after the play. Yeah, and uh, the thing is, it's the Rattlers who are doing the pushing and shoving mainly. And that's why. I don't know. They're, they're emotionally strung tonight, and I don't know what the heck it is. But it's been that way almost from the very beginning of this game. Nelson, the man in motion. Reeb under center, dropping back. Under pressure, finds time to get it away, but he winds up throwing it in the crowd as Nelson runs out of end zone, and it's second and 10. Yeah. Oh. I got a fan and went for the ball. Looks like he got hurt, but he did get the ball, and that's that's all that's important, right? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you get hurt. Just get that ball. It's a great mantra for the wide receivers. Yeah. Not for the fans. Second and ten at the Arizona 23. Nelson in motion. Reed drops back. Has some time. Throws it for Nelson over the wall into the first row. And he hangs on to the ball. Floyd escorted him in, into the really expensive seats. And we're waiting for Nelson to come back up. Uh, he's, he's down there. I see feet. Actually, there's two players down there. Well, let's see. Who escorted Nelson over the wall? You got Gray. Vir Virgil Gray. Gray's up first. And there's Nelson. Both players look okay. But... Let's take a second look at this, which will obviously be the hit of the game. And Gray rides him over the wall. And, uh, but the best part about that, though, is he actually hung on to that ball. Yeah, which isn't good for the Rattlers. No, but it's a great catch. Yeah, first, and go first and goal to at the Rattlers 9. San Jose up by a touchdown, looking for more with Rowan Motion. Grebe dropping back, fires for the end zone. That is... I think he caught it. 
It is caught for a touchdown, but there's also a flag down. So hold the phone. I'm going to say it's holding. It is holding against San Jose. Chad Cook, the fullback, busted on the hold there. That is the second time tonight San Jose has been a touchdown taken off. There's the replay. You see a defensive lineman got thrown down on the turf. And that takes away another pretty good catch there. So yeah, that was a good catch. Let's see if uh, the defense can uh, take one away themselves here. First and goal from the 19-yard line. San Jose ball, 2.15 to go in the third. Reeb, hit as he throws, finds Thomas. Thomas inside the 10, gets ridden down by Hill at the 9. It's a 10-yard gain and still second and goal. You know, uh, you know a guy who's not playing tonight, and we haven't called his number, and I'm just thinking about it now, and here we are already with, with, with almost into the fourth quarter, but there's no Kevin McCullough down there, is there? No, he's been, his, his, he hasn't been on the field. No, that's a very good observation. I just noticed it now, and it's like we know we always call his name, his number. Yeah. Creep dropping back, fires for the end zone. In the back of the end zone, is it caught? Great yes, catch. it is. Rowe with the touchdown catch. San Jose now up by 13. Rowe was able to hang on to that despite uh, Vince Hill's best effort to try and yank it free. And San Jose has got the Rattlers in a the position they are not used to being in. Gambo on for the extra point. Snap is high. Spot is good. And that kick is good. So it's 49-35. San Jose with a two-touchdown lead and 50 seconds to go in the third quarter. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty. Powerball jackpot is growing. It's a dream recording. Get your tickets today. The Arizona Lottery. Get in the U.S. Airways Center. San Jose is starting to see some control here. They've scored the last two touchdowns of the game. They now lead it 49 to 35. And the Rattlers right now are 50 seconds away from being shut out in the third quarter. Outside of the blowout wins at like Tulsa and Utah, I cannot think of a time this year where the Rattlers have been shut out in the quarter. Yeah, you're right. I, I don't remember it. So by that point, when they got shut out in those fourth quarters, just they let off the crowd because they were up by 40 points. You know, I'm still waiting for San Jose to kick an onside kick because this team is imploding already. Might as well try it. Well, let's see what Gamboa does here. Gray back to return. And Gray's going to get a shot at this one. Off the net. Gray fields it cleanly. At the five, cutting left, ten. Now back right. Now back left again through traffic. Gets around Thomas. Virgil Gray's got a chance. Going down the sideline around Gamboa. Is he there? Touchdown! Touchdown! Virgil Gray all the way. Second time today. <laughs> That's what the Rattlers needed. That's and missed the ball. There's no flag down. That's wait, exactly wait, what wait. he needed. But, but wait. Vir- there's a flag somewhere. But Virgil Gray is down. It's offside against San Jose, doesn't matter. Touchdown! But uh, 
Looked like Virgil Gray himself got a little shaken up on, uh, on that return. It was a great return by Virgil Gray. And uh, guess what, Hammer? Yep. They don't get shut out. Well, here's the extra point by Scotia. He hits. Rattlers respond in electrifying fashion. Second look, Gray to the left, to the right, back to the left. Around Thomas. And there he goes. He outruns Gambo to the corner, drags him with him. And that's enough for the touchdown. 49-42. San Jose still has the lead. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty. Puppy, 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 puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. It's in just a few seconds to cut that lead in half, but we have a whole fourth quarter to go. Illinois fan, let's do it. Get up, stand up. Go against your point. Rise for you. Run like a dog. Run like a dog. Run. Well, we're back in the snake pit, and after Virgil Gray has his second kick return for a touchdown tonight, as I said, I wouldn't be surprised if there was another one. And That's right. That's right. There you was. Said it. And now it's just finally starting to look like the snake pit we've come to know and love. The Rattler fans are on their feet. There's energy. There's electricity. There's some momentum going on here. There's almost 9,400 people in the building. Thank you, Chris Ann. <laughs> and I tell you, this is a good crowd. They're loud, and now they got something to cheer about. The question is, can the Rattlers capitalize on it? I don't know. Can they? Well, stay tuned. Like, where else you got to be? Onside kick, onside kick. Here it comes. Nope. Scotch hammers it deep. Vetter, who's returned one himself tonight, takes it, doesn't hit the net. Vetter at the five, cuts left, winds up running into Odie Armstrong and a couple other Rattlers, knocked down short of the 10, and San Jose is going to take over there. Eight seconds left to go in the third quarter. Now, we still haven't seen Kevin McCullough on the field in quite no, a I, while. I, has he played tonight? I don't remember. I, I, I don't him. ever remember calling his number. No, I have not seen him on the field in quite a while. That may be why we're seeing Jones on the field. But either way, the third quarter has come to an end. 49-42, to 42, San Jose holds the lead with 15 minutes to go. Let's take a timeout and catch our breath. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty. Airways Center as the Sidewinders entertain the crowd in the uh, interlude between the third and fourth quarter. 49 to 42, San Jose leads Arizona. They've got the ball on their own nine yard line. This has been an exciting night to say the least. We have seen three kickoff returns for touchdowns. We've seen a lot of unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. And we still have 15 minutes to go. And after, but Virgil Gray, after his most recent kick return for a touchdown, just before the end of the third quarter, 
has really got this crowd back into it. An announced crowd, 9,397 people. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, there very well could be. You know what? You know why? Why? Tonight I see more people in the uh, in the suites. Yeah. And that's why. Because it looks like about the same crowd that we had last week. Yeah, and that, this is an impressive crowd, especially given the fact that next door, the Diamondbacks are playing against Chicago, and they drew 32,000 people over there. Yeah, 30, 33,000. Yeah. And... Uh, Fourth quarter opens. Reed with the ball. In motion is going to be James. Reed, quick hit to Thomas. That bounced off the carpet. That's incomplete. That ball hit the ground like a little baby puppy. Well, one hop down a little bit short there to Thomas again. San Jose trying to stretch the field laterally and make the Rattlers get a little worn down well, going from side to side. I guess Virgil Gray is fine since he's out on the field for defense. And that might be the, those lateral passes. We need, a, we need a turnover right here. And well, we got one. We got Gray one. We fumbled it. Who Did got it? Did we get it? No. Sent, well, Just right out of the words out of my mouth. Well, we dropped it. Got it back. A loss of three. Third to 13 coming up for San Jose. This might be what the Rattlers have been looking for all night. Right here, make the stand. With no penalties. Very As I just said, this, you know, we need a turnover right here, and then boom, it almost was one. And so let's see. So third and 13, James in motion, Reed pump fake. Throws back there with the oh. tight end who gets out to the 20 yard line, absorbs a hit, and still keeps going. Gets it over to Mark Lewis, and the Slaver Cats slip out of that uh, third and long situation. That was a great call. Nobody expected him to uh, to uh, throw it back to him. Well, tight end rumbling free on that one. That's a gain of about 20, 20 yards, and San Jose keeps on moving. Nelson in motion. Reeb dropping back, going to up top for Nelson with Gray defending. That pass is incomplete. No flag, second down. I think one of the one of the questions tonight, win or lose, is we have to find out how come Kevin McCullough didn't play. And I I, I don't remember him playing a play tonight. No, I saw him out there for warm-ups, but that's about it. And it definitely looks like a, a uh, different team without McCullough out there as your Jack linebacker patrol in the middle of the field. James in motion. Greaves pass deflected down by Jones, and it's going to be third down. Jones, just go back. We don't want a penalty. I mean, come on. So yet again, third down, come, third and long coming up here for San Jose. They have been trying to get... Well, he's been trying to get him stopped, but they've either been making mistakes, letting the tight end go free, or have been having penalties called against them, which have been really hurting the Rattlers tonight. So third and ten, fans on their feet, trying to get some noise going. Nelson in motion, Greed dropping back, fires it for Nelson. Wide That's open. complete. He got the first down and a couple more. Knocked down by Gray. And yet again, the Sabercats wriggle their way off the hook. You know, tonight, uh, yeah, the defense has played good, but they're just not getting to take uh, the turnovers, and I think that has a lot to do with, uh, as you mentioned before, Kevin McCullough not out there. Yeah, this is not like the last game in San Jose where the Rattlers forced five turnovers in that three-touchdown win. James in motion. Greeb drops back, fires it for the end zone. Floyd's got it picked off. But there, there is going to be a penalty on the Rattlers here. And there's going to be a penalty on Vince Hill for holding. No, nope, having guys running out saying decline, that could be offensive pass interference. That might be the easiest pick of the season. I think it's a penalty on Vince Hill. I think it's on San Jose. One of us is right. 
and the Rattlers are all pointing down the, down towards the other the field. They think it's on San Jose. And they're gonna, if so, they're declining that penalty. Wow. I knew that penalty was on Hill. I just didn't know for what. I thought it was holding originally, but illegal contact, no matter what, still a penalty on the Rattlers. Imploding. So that's going to give it first and goal to San Jose at the seven. And we'll have to see if the Rattler defense can again pull it back together and escape from the mental meltdowns and keep their emotions in check. Try and keep San Jose stopped to keep this a one-score game. Row the man in motion. Grebe lost the ball. It's loose on the carpet. Now and the Rattlers have it. And I believe it's Virgil Gray who's got it. I believe so. I believe it's going. Kevin Guy thinks he got it's it. It's going green. Rattler ball. <laughs> There's the stop the Rattlers have been needing. There was the turnover we talked about. Tyree Glassford. There it is, Glassford at the bottom of the pile is able to get it. Now, now you got to get back in there. Now you got to get this thing tied up. 10.50 to go in the fourth quarter, and the Rattlers have the ball. They have momentum. They've got the crowd on their side. And we've got a TV timeout on the field, so we'll take it as well. This is Gross Words Broadcasting on 50. U.S. Airways Center in Phoenix, 10.50 to go on this one. The Arizona Rattlers force a fumble off a bad snap. They recover it at the nine. Tyree Glassford at the bottom of the pile digging it out. And the Rattler fans have plenty to fist pump about right now. And they'll have even more if they can get a touchdown and tie this puppy up. I'm even fist pumping up here. But they don't show me on the screen. There's 9,400 people in the building. It's a lot of, a lot of ground to cover with cameras. Yeah, fist pump. It is. It's a lot of ground. Yeah, it's getting everybody pumped up here. Hopefully it gets the uh, Rattlers pumped up because they need a score. And they need it now. You've got to strike while the iron is hot is the phrase. Read the motion, man. Davla dropping back. Fires it over the middle. He's got Gethers at midfield. Gethers is knocked down. That's going to be a big gain of about, about 17 yards. Andrews on the tackle, and Gethers gets up without incident. The Rattlers keep moving. I think they're still fist pumping here. Yeah. Gain of 18 there on, from Davlet to Gethers. Davlet's put himself together a pretty nice game, and the Rattlers are starting to move downfield again. Ten minutes to go in regulation time. Gathers the motion man. Davo drops back. He's got time. Fires deep over Wide the Wide open. Hello, Kerry Reed. Easy as it gets. Touchdown, Arizona. There was nobody within five wait, yards of him. Wait, there's a there's a flag on the play, I think. But I think it's I don't know. There's a flag down. I'm not quite sure what it is. I don't know either. Let's see. Illegal defense, decline it, touchdown, Arizona. It's a one-point game. 23-yard touchdown catch for Kerry Reed. And what, hap what happened to the coverage on that one? B-L-O-W-N blown. I mean, yeah, defensive coverage. There was no one. There was nobody within five yards of Reed on that play, maybe even ten. 
So Fabrizio Scaccia comes on for the PAT. 941 and counting. Scaccia. Good. Gotcha. Important extra point ties the game. 49-49. Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty. U.S. Airways Center, 9.38 left in the fourth quarter. Dark. You threw me off. I get my words tongue-tied again. San Jose, 49. Arizona, 49. This is going to be a great ride to the end, and like we've seen before, this is not a game for the faint of hearts, the weak constitution. You are going to have to be into the end with this one. Get a feeling this is going to be one of those down to the wire kind of games again. And I have no problem with that. I can't take it. I I, I can't stand it, so you stand up for me. Scotch is going to kick it off. Better is deep back for San Jose. Remember, he's already run one back so far this evening. Scotch off the goal, off the uh, iron there. Better coming right to the 10, to the 15, runs in the Tyree Glass for there, and that's where San Jose starts, right at the 15-yard 15. 15 line. Yep. Good run back there, gives the Sabercats decent field position. I love these new chairs they put in here for us. Indeed they are. They are I great actually, and a little more plush. I can actually uh, see the part of the field now. Yeah, so they are definitely some new chairs. Yep. We like it. Yep. I feel like I can sit on a phone book for a suburb instead of the entire city of Phoenix and see <laughs> Pick your own suburb here, folks. Whatever you like. Okay. Uh, I'm going Gilbert. Lake Havasu. There you go. Row in motion. Reed drops back, looking. He's got time. Fires that. There's going to be a flag throw, and that's going to be on Vince Hill. I don't know. Is that on, is that on Vince Hill, or is that? Uh... With the way things are going now, I won't be surprised if it's on Vince Hill. Both uh, He was locked up with Thomas down the field as both were trying to jostle for position. I think at best it's offsetting, at worst it's on Hill. Okay, worst case scenario. How many penalties do they have now? You got stats on that? I do, and I might need to take off my uh, shoes to start counting penalties on my toes. Um, I've got this right now as 11 penalties on Arizona for 105 yards, San Jose 10 for 75. Uh, that's about two dozen flags tonight. We're getting close to that figure. So, first and 10 at the Rattler 24. San Jose moving down the field. Nelson, the man in motion. Reeb drops back, fires it left. There's that's a gonna, flag. There's that's going to that's that's be holding on yep. uh, number 91 of uh, San Jose. The pass was complete to Thomas. Hill took him down. Number 91 is Dan Loney. And that is definitely the flag in the area of offensive holding. There it is. So that's going to make it first and 20. That's going to put the ball back at about the 16-yard line. Yep, 16-yard line of San Jose. Right back where we started from. Yeah. So eight and a half minutes to go. Tied at 49. Both teams still have all three timeouts. Thomas at the bottom. Rowe at the top. Nelson the motion man. Reeb drops back. That I think that I think I, that's a false start. That's got to be a false start. 
Nope. Yep. yep. False start. Um, okay. Now we got now we got the uh, Saber Cats imploding a little bit here, and yeah. uh, keep on pushing them farther back, farther back. Yeah. If you do hear a beeping sound as you're watching this game on the internet, that's the Saber Cats going in reverse. Ten yard penalty on five on top, but it's first and 25 from the 11. That's half the field, folks. Half the field. Yep, we'll see what we'll see what the uh, Rattler defense can rise up and make another stop here. Nelson in motion. Thomas at the bottom row at the top. Reed, quick quick hitter left to Thomas at the 15. Shake and bake move gets out to the 20 where he gets knocked off his feet. That's going to be a gain of nine and brings up second and 16. He actually actually did a good job of getting away from the defenders there for. Uh, Add a few more uh, yards after that uh, after that catch. So actually, it's going to be a gain of 11, second and 14 at the 22. Still, either way, it's going to be a long way to go for San Jose. Nelson again in motion. Reeb drops back, looking flushed out of the pocket, under pressure, has to get rid of it. Does so into about the third row, and that's going to be incomplete. All right, and uh, quarterback got. Quarterback got hammered. Nelson wanted a flag from uh, for a supposed foul against Virgil Gray, and now the officials are conferring. I'm a little scared about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why. Is there a flag down? They replayed it. I. Why, don't. why would you? Why would you replay it? I have no idea. Okay, so it's second and 14 on the 22 of San Jose. Take two. Action. And see what happens here. Row in motion. Reeb dropping back. He's got time. Fires deep going for Nelson. The Wide end zone. Open. Does he have it? He, he dropped it. He dropped it. He dropped it. Nelson was open in the end zone. Ben Nelson had it. He was, dropped it. He was wide open. So now it's going to bring up third and long for the Rattlers uh, defense to try and stifle San Jose. And I tell you, when you're given a gift like that on defense, you have got to make sure you make the other team pay. No way around it. You've got to get the stop here. Fans are getting into it. They're on their feet. It's getting loud in here. Third and 14 from the 22, row in motion. Reed drops back, he's got some time pumps, fires it over the right side. He's got a man, but he's down short of the first down yardage. I believe that's gonna be Thomas. It is Thomas, and it's gonna be fourth and about four coming up here. So yeah, fourth down about four yards short. It's gonna be spotted at the Arizona 17. Big play coming up here, fourth and three for San Jose. 5.45 to go, fans on their feet. Roll the motion, man. Reed drops back, looking left, fires deep for Rose. It's overthrown. He, it is incomplete, and the Rattlers make a stand. Marquise Floyd on the coverage, Rattler ball on the 17. Now, again, the Rattlers make a stand. You can tell when that ball was thrown, that ball actually looked a little high. Gave the uh, defender an opportunity to knock it away. Well, there's a timeout on the field. We will take it as well. 5.35 left in regulation. It's 49 all. Don't go anywhere. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty. Now Back in the U.S. Airways Center, 535 left in regulation. 49 Arizona, 49 San Jose. It's a tie game. Arizona made a big defensive stop on fourth down. They've got the ball on their 17-yard line. 
they have a chance to take the lead, which they have not had since the early going of the second half. No, they actually haven't led it all the second half. Nope. So this is the time to do it, right? Five minutes to go. 5.35. Lead it is, but still, you get down that final minute. The, tra the more traditional outdoor rules apply. Each team still has all three touchdowns. And as we saw in the first half, there are still plenty of opportunities to score. So even though it's 49 all, I would be surprised if either team finishes under 63 points tonight. I would be surprised. The offenses are clicking. The Rattlers maybe have started to pull it back together. I actually see Kevin McCullough not in uniform on the side, in the sidelines, down there, towel on his neck. See him? Yep, I do see him now. Yes. So uh, we'll have to find I don't, out. don't really know. We'll what, have to what's find on. out more about that post game. Dowell's got the ball right now. Drops back. Plenty of time. Fires it over the middle, and that's going to be incomplete. Is there a flag? No. no. Fox was covered by Mosley. And it's going to be second and 10 for Arizona at their own 17. Yeah, it actually looked like Fox was his primary receiver, and uh, Davila was waiting for him to get open, and uh, you know never who, really quite did. You know who we haven't seen in a while? Rod Windsor. Is he on the field? He's on the field. He's that, down on the bottom. Fox in the middle, Gethers on the top. Gethers is going to be your motion now, but Windsor hasn't been thrown to in a while. Davila drops him right back. No. What was that? Um, Windsor was in the middle of the field. Davila threw it to the boards. A miscommunication there. And that's going to bring up third and 10 at the 17. And not the way you want to be running the offense right now for Arizona. I'll tell you what, it's a pretty good pass to uh, Dad's catering. It was smack dab in the middle of Dad's and the smack dab uh, in the middle of catering. Yeah. And with tomorrow being Father's Day, what a better ad, huh? Yeah, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Davila drops back on third down, fires over the middle for Fox. Did he catch it? No. no. A little too far. And now There's it's going to be There's a penalty flag down. Flag. This, this could be uh, roughing the passer. Because well, it would be nice to see one of those get called against San Jose because they have not been called and, against. And it is. It's roughing the passer. Yes, there you go. So the Rattlers get a roughing the passer penalty. It's a t of the 15-yard variety. They get the ball at the San Jose 23. Down inside, just a, actually just over four minutes left. 4:09 left on the game clock, and running. Well, that that was a uh, stupid penalty, if I could say so myself, on the on the uh, Saber Cats. Yeah, not the time you want to. Get and if I could say so myself, I should be, I should be able to say it because I'm saying it. Davila drops back, fires right. He's got Fox. And that's going to be down to the 17th gain of six. Second and four coming up from the San Jose Sa from the San Jose Sabercats 17. Check that the 18. So it'll be a five-yard gain. But the Rattlers are starting to just to kind of chip away a little bit down the field. You know what I feel like right now? What do you feel like? Besides a touchdown, I feel like breakfast. Wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> Davila drops back. Windsor's got it at the 10. Gets around a defender. And still fighting for yards. Gets down to the 5. That's going to be a first down. And it's going to be a 13-yard gain. Rattler's now in the red zone. And you had mentioned Windsor before. I feel like breakfast. My breakfast tastes better when you win a division title. D, breakfast. So it's a gain of 12. <laughs> Not paying any attention over there. 2.45 to go, 49 all. Yeah, let's get him right here. Windsor on the bottom, Gethers on the top, Fox in the middle. He's the motion man. Odie, Odie halfback pass to Booker! No, broken up. That was deflected away by Vetter again, and I tell you, that was an incredible play call, and if that would have worked, the roof would have gone off this building. Well, if that would have worked, that probably would have been the, uh, that probably would have gone over the weight limit. That would have been uh, Odie. <laughs> oh, well, you look at it this way. Odie is 260 on the card. Right. John Booker is 315 pounds. Right. So I would that's, say that would, have been a, that, that would have been over the weight limit on that touchdown. That's a lot of beef. Second goal at the six. 
Donville drops back. Looking, fires right, Windsor got Touchdown. it! Touchdown Arizona! The Rattlers have the lead! And you have number one, number one on, uh, is he on the card there? Number one on the Sabercats? Do you no. have him on yours? No, I don't have him. He was complaining of a, of a push-off, but I didn't see it. Oh, oh that's, there he is. Uh, that's Rod, Rod Mosley. Yep. Well. All right, well, we got a, we got a buck 25 going here with the clock moving. So now Scotch is going to go for the extra point here. They have to get the playoff before the one-minute warning. Game clock at 115, play clock at 10. So about a five-second difference there. Snap, Harris, Scotch, a kick. Yes. 56 to 49. The Rattlers lead it. Second look at the go-ahead touchdown to Rod Windsor. He's got it. Rattlers by seven. Let's take a break and catch our breath. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on Nifty. Back at the U.S. Airways Center, 1.07 remaining. The Arizona Rattlers, Rod Windsor with a touchdown catch. 56 to 49, Arizona has the lead. And I got a feeling we are in for a wild and crazy final 67 seconds tonight. Buckle all seat belts, chin straps, helmets, whatever you got. This is gonna be a bumpy ride, folks. I can't see this end zone. I stand up, I can see it. Scotch is going to hammer it away to Vetter. Remember, Vetter's already run one back tonight. Kick coverage is important. Scotch hammers it deep, going to come off the net. Vetter's got it. Out to the five. Riley Swanson there with a tackle with a five, and, and Vetter doesn't get any farther. San Jose is going to be starting deep in their own territory with 59 seconds to go. And we're going to have another timeout here for the one-minute warning, I believe. I believe you're correct. Yep. Yep. So let's take it with them. 56-49 Rattlers. This is Pro Sports Broadcasting on 50. Seconds remain in regulation time. Arizona leads 56 to 49. San Jose has the ball on its own six yard line, 44 yards from a potential tie game. Can the Rattler defense hold? What's going to happen? It's going to be an exciting last minute. Row in motion, Grieb, quick hitter to Thomas, got it. Out to the 10. Gathers has him there. Actually gets knocked down inbounds by Jones, and the clock is going to keep rolling. 
He got crushed there. It's going to be a gain of about three yards. I think San Jose is going to try and milk this all the way down to the bitter end here. A gain of four, second and six at the ten. Grebe dropping back. Fires a floater. That's going to complete Tarot at the 20. He works his way up the boards and is escorted out by Floyd at the 24-yard line. With 28 seconds to go. Gain of 14 there. Incidental first down. Well, first and 10 near midfield for San Jose. Arizona holding on to a 56-49 to lead. Thomas at the bottom, Nelson in the motion, Rowe at the top. There goes Nelson. Reeb drops back, trying to go for Nelson on the fly route. He's got him. Got him. And into the end zone touchdown, but did San Jose score too quickly? They, I think they did. I mean, with 23 seconds to go here. But don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if San Jose kicks an onside kick. I'm very serious here. Well, let's see what first happens with the extra point. It's 56-55, and Gamboa's going to come on. Or is he? I don't see him out there. San Jose is going for two, folks. The Sabercats want to try and get the win, or at least put the Rattlers in, in, in a precarious spot. Fans on their feet. We're on our feet, too. Row in motion. Sabercats going for two. Green dropped back. Fires to the back of the end zone. Him. Too far for Rowe. I don't he, think he caught it. Oh, oh, my goodness, he got it. One foot down in bounds. That's all you need. And Rowe's got the two. San Jose leads by one. Wow. But I think they left too much time on the clock. 23 seconds is a lot of time when you have a kicker like Scottry, even though when he's been put in these positions before this yeah, year, he, got, he look, is not. Second look at that one. It looked like he may, uh, you know, he, that foot may have been close to the back of the end zone. The Rattlers obviously had a great look at it. It was right in front of their bench, but referees say he got it down. So San Jose leads by one. And again, I mean, it's a two-point conversion. You know, a field goal still beats you. I think if if the um, Sabercats, what they just did by putting that point up, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if there's an onside kick, a pooch kick, something. Yeah. I, they're, they're, they're not going to want to put in the hands of Virgil Gray. No. Because Gray's already run two of them back tonight. But Gray is back to return. 23 seconds to go. 57 56. San Jose lead. Up there on the front line, Gethers, Armstrong, Glasper, Hill, Windsor there on a second level, Swanson, Floyd, the other kick returners, and then obviously Gray in the back. So San Jose rolls the dice, goes for the two, they get it, they have a one point lead. Each team has all three timeouts left, so 23 seconds can last a very long time. Gamboa, well, it away. he hammers it deep. Not off the, off the overhang, Gray's got a chance. Cuts left five, 10, falls down at the 11. You got 20 seconds to go. That is plenty of time. In this league, that is forever a day and then some. So Arizona has the ball at the 12. What are, you, what are you looking for? I'm looking for uh, move down the field and maybe get may, maybe make a chip shot field goal for the division title. Read in motion. Wins are at the bottom. Gathers at the top. Fans on their feet. Davila drops back. Fires deep for Reed. He caught it. it. He's out, he's of, out bounds. of bounds. Stops the clock with 15 seconds. And he's out of bounds with the San Jose 13. That's the field position you need. That is the kind of play that you like to see. Kerry Reed got the Rattlers down the field, and now. You know, what can you say about the uh, the Rattler receivers this year? It seems like they've been, you know, the guys that they have, they've been able to plug guys in there, and, uh, you know, they've all been, they've all done the job. Yep, 26-yard gain for Reed, 15 seconds to go. It's on the San Jose 12. Davila drops back. Pump fake, looking for Gathers, got it! 
Touchdown, Arizona, and Gethers fires the ball in the crowd. Jason Gathers, fourth touchdown of the night, and the Rattlers are back in front, 62-57. to 57. But, but, again, there's 10 seconds left on this clock. Did the Rattlers leave too much time on here? Because San Jose, what I've seen of their field goal kicker in practice, he can kick that long field goal. Well, think about this, too. Now the Rattlers have to go for two. Because if they go for one, a touchdown ties it, and they lose on a PAT potentially. Right. So now we're going to see the Rattlers have to play the two-point game. And Kevin Guy has given Nick Davila a lot of instructions there. Well, he's calling the whole team over. And we may have had a timeout called by Arizona. Mm-hmm. The guy calls for a timeout. Play clock ran down to zero, it looks like. I don't know if that's from the previous play or not. But I believe we are going to have a timeout called here. And I'm not sure what guy is talking to our referee, Shane Anderson, about. Here it comes. Okay, that is a good timeout. So, Rattlers are going to look for a play for two. This is reminiscent of that Orlando game earlier this season, the first one we did. Yeah, it is. But in that point, though, the Rattlers were down by one and needed the two. Of course, Brandon Harvey isn't here to throw it to. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. I believe they... They're thinking that it's either going to go to um, Windsor or uh, Gathers, and I think it's going to go to Reed. I'm going to go for the guy you haven't said yet. Well, uh, Odie. It might go to Odie out of the backfield. Let the big unleash the beast. So, Rattlers going for two, up by five, ten seconds to go. <clears throat> Reed at the bottom. Gellers at the top. Windsor's going to be the man in high motion. Here we go. Davila drops back, looking in the end zone for Windsor. Got it! it! Windsor for two. Rattlers by seven. Whoa. That was a great catch. It was reminiscent of the train and Harvey catch just on the other side of the end zone. Yeah, it was. Guy high fives Gellers. The Rattlers are up by seven. And now the pressure is really on San Jose with just 10 ticks left on the clock. Told you it was going to be an exciting last minute. I wow. can't I can't take this stuff. I can't stand it. That's, well, why, that's why I'm sitting down. I'm standing up just so I can see. So, now if you're Arizona, you're up by seven. The first thing you're telling your team in the huddle, cover the kick. Vetter has run one back. Do not let him run another one back, please. Well, what I'd like to see is Scott Chip put one in the net. For a touchback. Yeah, but it doesn't for... take any time off the clock, though. True. Boy, so many options and so little time, literally. Vetter back. Thomas is going to be the up back on the return. Rattlers getting their groove on in the end zone. Try and get a little loose before this play. Ten seconds remain in regulation. 64-57, Arizona with the lead. Yep. And, and right after the final gun goes, this broadcast is over. Scotch hammers it deep off the net. Vetter. Can't field it cleanly. Bounces in the end zone. Better 5 10. Uh -oh. Cutting left. Trying to get around Gathers. He does it. Marquise Floyd tries to hold him up, and he does at the 18 yard line. Four, four seconds. seconds remain. You got one play. Yeah. You got one shot right here. So it's going to be at the 19 of San Jose. They need 31 yards. And I'm, I'm watching out for number 80. Number 80, number 9. Rowe and Nelson have had pretty good nights tonight. You're not going to see the tight end on this one. Um, Thomas, the other wide out, he could be a factor. He's been kind of quiet, but you never know. And the Rattlers are going to basically be hanging deep, playing prevent coverage. Hill, Gray, and Floyd are all back. And we got a timeout. Yep. 
Arizona calls timeout. Well, they have one remaining. Just want to make sure we have everything in order. And this is basically one play for the division title. That's been lost in all this excitement is, hey, Rattlers hold on one play. They're going to playoffs. That's right. Playoffs? Playoffs? You say playoffs? You talking about playoffs? Playoffs? Yes, Jim Moore, we're talking about playoffs. So, this is it. Rattlers three deep, Floyd, Gray, and... I, I see Vince Kevin Hill. McCullough down there leading cheers, but I would like to know what's wrong. He looks like he is limping, but I'm not quite sure. Well, we'll see why after the game. Green oh! Up. Sack! The ball is loose! That's, That's it. it! It's an incomplete there. pass, and it's over! There should be one second left on that clock. Wait. There should be one second. Rattlers... No, is, they're done. No, nope, it's...